Good afternoon everybody, it is I, Hamster of Wrath, back with some more Stellaris. I hope you're all doing very well today. We have some lovely people in chat. We have the Roach Muggle, Bamboozle Ballet, Shepherd. Uh, I think it's everybody welcome in. I hope you're all doing very well today, or at least doing passable, because sometimes that's the best you can do. <laughs> I know all too well. But uh, yes, here we are, back with the uh, burgeoning... Hamsterian Empire that is scattered to the four winds and surrounded on all sides by very angry people. So nothing bad will happen, uh, I'm sure. So uh, I took a little bit of advice uh, at the end of last stream. I actually did like a little bit of admin uh, before I started, um, uh, mucking around, upgrading buildings. I've just told all my fleets to go and upgrade as well because they've got new thrusters and stuff. Um, so, you know, might be fractionally less faffing during the the opening salvo of the stream but you know we'll see how it goes so uh i guess i should actually unpause because i've just gone and done a bunch of stuff so uh what's happening here uh the has valve now did we uplift the has valve yes we did because they have culture shock which makes sense so yes we've just terrified the has valve by quite a large margin, so actually I didn't even look at their stats. What are their stats? Alpine, Agrarian, Engineers, Resilient. Hey Math, how's it going? Oh, welcome, welcome. I smell hamsters. Oh god, can you imagine? We were talking about that um uh game scent thing on the Discord that can actually like generate smells while you're playing video games, and I thought it was a terrible idea. Um, also, incidentally, I have accepted your uh, friend request on Steam, and I've lobbed you a message, so at your own leisure, have a look at that. Um, but yeah, I tend to be on stealth mode a little bit on Steam, so... Uh... <laughs> right, uh, yeah, what's, what's the thing I don't know? They're repugnant. Okay, they are smelly birds. Speaking of smelly things, apparently these are, these are smelly things. It's a scam. It has only like five cents. Well, I also... I, let's put it this way. Even if it wasn't a scam, I feel it would just be a terrible idea. Even even if it worked perfectly, the games I play, it's like, what would this smell of? Space? I mean, space doesn't have a smell. So I mean, I I have no idea. It it just seems like a. It's one of those things. It's like just because they could doesn't necessarily mean they should. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, okay. What have we got here? Uh, oh, there's a resolution I haven't seen. So it's probably just as well I checked. What do we got here? Uh, Astronauts said the moon smells like gunpowder. I thought somebody said it's. Someone said it smelled like burnt steak, but I thought that might just be your um, uh, uh, smell and taste receptors boiling away in the atmosphere of space. But you know, that's that's beyond my pay grade. I don't know. <laughs> okay, what have we got here? Uh, five-year plans. The governors of our world should be given the freedom necessary to propose and enact sweeping reforms for the betterment of all. Effects. Agri-world, generator, and mining planetary designations get additional bonuses. Basic subsistence living standard banned. Okay, so we've got diplomatic weight from populations is plus 40. Worker happiness is plus 5. Worker political power is plus 25%. Is this bad? This doesn't sound bad. Look, I mean, look at the diplomatic weight that these guys have got now. That's insane. Oh, look, a decaying corpse. Yeah, exactly. I mean, can, can you imagine? Can you imagine what Helldivers smells like? That Helldivers would not smell good. It's just like, no, why? That bad. Terrible idea. Uh, moon dust would have a smell and they got some of it inside when they stopped their moonwalks. That's entirely possible. Yeah. Yeah, who does I have? How do you smell space? It's quite difficult. Um. So if these guys are proposing it, I can only assume... Oh, wow, their, their fleet power is actually quite hefty compared to ours. Warhammer scented candles. Oh, God, I vaguely remember those. Yeah. The thing is, even if we oppose this, it would take everyone else backing us up to stop this going through. But I don't even know if this is bad. So I don't even know what basic subsistence living does in this game. Um, I mean, this doesn't seem intrinsically terrible. I'm going to support this. Screw it. 
I always keep re reading that as Pangalactic Gargle Blaster. You can just abstain to be a contrarian. Oh, that's a good point. I don't think it's that bad, and I doubt you have basic subs. Yeah, no, I, I don't think I even have basic subsistence, as far as I know. So, uh, what are our bonuses here? Uh, voting strength, uh, stability. Oh, that's cool. We have a we have a dedicated person. What's oh, an empire policies? Oh, definitely not. No, because we can't afford any of those. We have to switch a bunch of those off, I think. Oh, 81, 130. So hang on, we that's uh 50? There isn't one that costs 50. These are all very expensive. Oh, policies, not edicts. Uh basic subsistence, basic subsistence. Uh would that be an that would be an option in one of these, I'm guessing. Uh it's not jumping out at me. Okay, I don't think we've got that, so let's not worry about that. Okay, uh, idle leaders, uh, relic activation possible. 22,000 minerals. Again, that's all the minerals we have, which is probably not a good idea. Click them all to open them up, forget what it is. Okay, well, we're not, I, I don't think we're using it right now, so I'm not, I'm not too fussed. Okay, right. Let us unpause and see what awaits us. Terror. Terror and bees, probably. Uh, now, I will say, rather hilariously, there's a planet down here that uh, I utterly didn't notice was up for grabs, so I should really grab that. I don't know why. Why we've just left that. Um, I think I sent a construction ship over there. Or I should have done. Uh, oh, I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Uh, that's interesting. Oh no, there's two. There's two systems. Never mind. All right, he's building a mining station. Uh, wait, both of these are building a mining station. I can, I can spare one of you guys. Go there. Even more star bases that we can't afford. This is fine. Nothing bad here. Ships upgraded. Okay, that's one set of ships upgraded. Oh, uh, gateway constructed. Oh! Hey! We've got an escape option. Also, there's an invasion option, because now we can escape here. Um, I guess people could invade it. So that's good, but now we have a gateway. So what happens is we could actually reinforce this at relatively short notice. Um, so that's pretty cool. Wait, wasn't there a fleet there? Oh no, I don't have a fleet there, but that's got like 10,000 power. Did I just build like a shit ton of... I did. <laughs> I, I just built a bunch of defense modules there. I also didn't notice, honestly, like the, the buildings. I haven't even looked at these. We've got all these as well. It's like, oh my god, more menus. More menus. I'm going to make this like super defensive. Because uh, that's if anywhere's going to go, that's going to be the first bite, first plot. So that won't be good. Right, they've been fully upgraded. That's fine. Well, it says they haven't, but that's okay. Why does it say they have been upgraded? Oh, oh god, it's all kicking off. Uh, archaeological site pending. Hidden worlds. Our engineers have restored the oracles. I can't even remember what this was about. What was this about? Uh, it may have been responsible for not only keeping the station's inhabitants alive, but also for killing them. Oh, lovely. It ran complicated, uh... Oh, it, like, it, like, predicts the future. It has indicated that it wishes to speak with us. The, the AI that decides when you're useful and when you're not, and kills you out of hand when you serve no purpose, wants to have a chat with us. There's nothing bad could happen here, I'm sure. The event of the Oracle happens in one day. Or oh, we gain a bunch of stuff. I'm going to talk to it, because legitimately, that's the funny option. <laughs> Let's choose the fun option, because I like fun. I'm quite partial to it. Let's have a chat with it. 
Okay, that'll that'll take another day or so. Uh, that's the archaeological fight site finished. Okay, cool. Oh, hello. When in doubt, do a funny. Oh, I did a funny. This is oh renowned paragons. Okay, is this? Do I have the do I have the paragon DLC? I can't remember. Hang on a second. It's been one of those weeks. Oh, okay. I don't have paragons. Well, I thought... Surely I would need paragons to have a paragon... I'm not questioning it. I'm not questioning it. I don't know what's going on. Okay, cool. So he is uh, an official. He's an industrialist. Uh, He is a gestalt consciousness. Okay. Oh, well, can we hire this guy? We can hire this guy! Must be part of the free update that came with it. Yeah, I guess so. It is pretty good. It's, it's true, isn't it? Well, it looks like a thing. I don't know. Uh, leader trait. Immortal. Oh, stability at the cost of happiness. Great. He'll fit right in. Uh, architectural interest. Urbanist. And principled. Interesting. Okay, let's have a uh, let's have a chat. Have a chat. Have a chat. Two immortals in my great wheel. <laughs> Can be a she based on its image and flavor texts. Uh, it's a good point actually. That is a she. It says she. You are correct. I mean, not that you could tell from that angle, but it does say she. Okay, with glowing eyes. Divinity Station. I implore you to restore my security system. I mean, maybe. Right, what happened to the inhabitants? I have a failsafe that requires me to terminate a trial in the event of a code 034N deviation. The research has become a threat to the Republic. Huh? Yeah, what was the destiny trait? Urbanist. Uh, so we made her a sector governor. Uh, lots of lowered upkeep. Uh, that's that could be useful. Let's let's figure out what's going on with these people. Okay. Um. Wait, did we already ask that? We just asked that, right? What are you? I am Oracle, an artificial intelligence gifted with the sight. A 74.99999% chance. I mean, pretty good odds. I sense great doubt in you. Great danger ahead. Your society is riddled with crime and deviation. I can make the pain go away. This, I mean, the crime's about right. Well, yeah, the only reason we get a lot of crime is that we, um... We, we take over other people's planets and they don't like us doing that, so that's quite funny. Uh, what is a code 034N deviation? The test subjects had developed free will. Free will can only be abolished with nerve gas. Oh my god. This doesn't sound like... That's... That's not a good person. What trial? I was designed to build and maintain a society free of crime and suffering. Unfettered by indecision and desire. Okay. It isn't really a person. I, I know it isn't a person, but it just sounds terrible. What is the Republic? The Republic is no more. So what do we get here? Is that a quantum multi-core processor? We could use that. Versus... We could use your site. A skill 5 official endowed with the site joins the Hamsterian Conclave. I mean... You know, what's what's the worst that could actually happen? You know, they could just enslave everyone and gas everybody with nerve gas. It's, it's fine. Yeah, go on, why not? Okay. First step first, let's ensure there are no divergent thoughts. No divergent thoughts. Dr. Oppen Hamster would consider them an asset. Yeah, I bet they would. Right. Oh, what's this? P. 
pending trait pick. Oh, I can pick a I can pick a new trait for them. Oh, this is cool. Okay, what have we got here? We got three more after that. Oop, that's the wrong button. Hold on. Uh, architectural interest, fertility preacher. <laughs> that wasn't the fertility as I thought it was. For the greater good. The greater good. Yeah, do do Doctor Oppenhamster is a little bit off the rails, but he's he's in a good way. You know, he's off the rails in a good way. Yeah, I thought Fertility Preacher was like, go forth and fuck, but she's talking about, like, uh, food growth and stuff, so that's also fine. Um, Spycraft? Empire Effects says Council. Ooh, that could be good. Oh god, I'm gonna have to put her on the Council, aren't I? Righteous. Either the Council or... Um, a Sector Governor. One of the two. Three more. It says three more, and I can't actually... Oh, I can select up up to three traits? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Go for the fuck. I'm struck off 2024. Yeah. Uh, shipwright's pretty good. Yeah. So hang on. So. Oh, okay. Right. There's three more after that. Right. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's, it's, it is, it's, it's like three picks. Oh, damn. Okay, um. Frontier Spirit, Focus, Divinity of, oh my god, this is amazing. Uh, Mining Rush. Entrepreneur. We're definitely gonna have to put her on the council. She'll probably end up running the place. Uh, building and district upkeep. Oh, they've already got, uh, uh, the first version of that. Right. Sorry, my, my, my mouse wheel keeps, I keep clicking off that. You know what's better than 5% build speed? 10% build speed. That is true. That is a fair point. I was thinking of, like, you know, spreading it out a little bit. Um, more minerals also means more alloys. So I'm tempted to go, because I think minerals get converted into alloys. So I'm going to go with Mining Rush, why not? And what else we got? Uh, Blabbermouth. Base Intel level plus five. Unifier. Research exchange. Research sharing from agreements plus five percent. Uh, that's the same trait that our galaxy guy has. Unity from jobs. I mean, more unity is always a good thing. Oh god, there's one more. Uh, investor? Uh, trade value... Colony ship build cost, colony development speed... Deep connections? Monthly influence? Hmm... A lot of the DLC content is in the game, and we simply don't have access to it. I mean, it doesn't matter so much, I think, because some of it seems to turn up regardless. Um, I think a lot of the DLC is just, like, stuff we can't make ourselves, I think. But, honestly, what, uh, what was one of the other games? Um, MechWarrior 5 is exactly like that. MechWarrior 5, you have all the DLC is already on your PC. Um, and because because whenever you pay for the, the DLC, it doesn't download anything. It just goes boop. Yep, unlock that. So it's nothing unusual. Let's go with that. Oh my god, must get on the council immediately because this is ridiculous. Uh, or a sector governor, one of the two, or both. Right, let's have a look at the council. Government, not council. Um, so they're an official. So who have we got? We've got Sin of the Goat List. Right, let's let's swap you out here for... Uh, there we go. So we've got... Uh, minerals from Jobs. Uh, ship Build Speed. Stability plus four. And Monthly Influence. That's that's good. And also they look very pleased with themselves. They're 5,973 years old. That's amazing. Uh, hey, Red Mangler. How's it going? Hello. Are there ground wars in, these, in this game? Um, uh, yes. It's not a particularly sort of big part of it. You literally have 
Uh, let me find a example. Yeah, definitely it, it, it is present. It's yeah, rudimentary. That is the best way of putting it. You, you literally have like your, your defense armies here, and then you can bombard planets to lower lower the health. You can invade with your own um, invasion fleets, of which I have one of these. These are invasion fleets. Uh, so yeah, it, it, it's not a major focus, but it is in the game. I wish there was more to it. Well, in fairness, uh, I got enough to keep track of, so <laughs> I'm I'm okay with that. Not a problem. And uh, thanks thanks for uh, saying hello and welcome to you and welcome to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I just want to land a Titan Legion. <laughs> well, um, Roach Mogul, we, we were talking about uh, uh, Mecha. Apparently, we can actually build Mecha uh, with one of the mods. So we can land mechs uh, as invasion fleets, which sounds fun to me. Yeah, there's, 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 I, I have not touched the mods yet. I have uh, not, not even barely it's glanced upgraded. at them. Right, that's good. My fleets are being upgraded. This is good. Ships oh, upgraded. okay. While this is happening, I should do something. We said we were going to do the other uh, earlier on, which was, let's see if we can form a federation with the Jackley, because I think this could be a good idea. I think Bamboozle suggested this. Uh, for the second game through, are you up for ship set mods? Don't really do anything, just a different skin for ships. Um, uh, is, is that like cosmetic mods and stuff? Yeah, I'm kind of... I, I, I'm slowly accumulating some uh, ideas uh, in the Discord. Incidentally, we have a Discord. Um... And I've kind of got a little spreadsheet, and I'm kind of planning uh, planning things a little bit ahead. So anything is possible. Ghost of Tsushima is heading to PC. Oh, that's the open world samurai thing, isn't it? Hmm. I get this feeling it'll be on Epic exclusive. Yeah. That's 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 what happens. <laughs> Epic throw money at people. And they give them exclusives. That's that's generally what happens. I believe. Uh, okay, let's... How can we do this? Right, I need a drink. Do excuse me for a second. Okay, what I might do... I might actually save before I do this. Just in case. Purely just in case I fuck this up. I don't actually know what I'm doing, and I don't want to get messed up by my own incompetence here. Yeah, honestly, if, if you are new to the game, uh, literally all I've done is just, I, I just went at it. I just bimbled my way through in absolute chaos. And you, you sort of, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a bit of a sort of a learning cliff, but it's, it's, I, I feel like I've immersed myself in a lot of things, but it's, it's good fun. Uh, okay, right, yes, we're going to talk to the Jackley. That's it. Right, one thing at a time, Amster. One thing at a time. Right, so if we release them for being our subject... We have decided to release you, you're only holding us back. Which isn't kind of strictly true. So does that mean... Will that make them un unhappy? Well, they're loyal to us, right, okay. Form... Not aggression pack, right? Form federation. Uh, doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Yes, we have the we have the Cybrex war forms. That's cool. Okay, that's not gonna. Why is that not gonna work? Huh. Acceptance minus twenty. Base minus fifty. Is this because they're a hive mind? I think it's because they're a hive mind. Bugger. Uh, I may have been a slight oopsie. But their loyalty's gone up, which is interesting. Can't see because of chat. Oh, thank you very much for the follow, Red Mangler. Uh, oh yeah, it's right under it. It says acceptance minus 20. 
loyal attitude plus 30, opinion plus 45, hive mind minus 50. It's because they're hive minds. Hey, Kozlov, how's it going? Well, that was a oopsie. Loyalty is nothing... Uh, hey, Quinlist, how's it going? They're not happy with loyalty. Loyalty has nothing to do with it. Just give them a butt-ton of materials. Well, where is... Oh, Diplomacy stands belligerent. Oh. This empire attempt to bully weaker empires into their will. Yeah, I don't... I don't... Hmm. I'm pondering a reload. I think maybe that was a bad idea. We could offer a migration. Oh, no. They can't integrate with other societies. No. Commercial pact? They, they can't do a commercial pact. Okay. Uh... Can't form federation. Guarantee independence? Offer a trade deal? So where is that listed? Oh, we're infiltrating them. I've just noticed that. Are we infiltrating them? No, we're not infiltrating them. That's nonsense. General diplomacy screen. Uh, this is the diplomacy screen, isn't it? I mean, you could form a non-aggression pact with them to see all the empires. Oh, uh, well, that's here then, isn't it? I thought we could be friends. But yeah, they're not up for it. Um, so maybe that was a bit of an oopsie. Start with little steps. Non-aggression. Yeah, I was thinking we could do a non-aggression pact. Let's do that. Uh, unable to attack each other while this is in effect. Ah, the trust of us will increase each month. Uh, it cost us influence each month, which is fine. Probably. Shared intel. Okay, right. So, oh. Acceptance 135, and we don't have to do anything else for it. Okay. So that's good. Uh, trade deal? Okay. Um, and hey, PM Collector Boy, sorry, your 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 name's very similar in color on my screen to Quinn lists. Sorry. Ah, welcome. Uh, Hell divers are hugging to share personal shields. I didn't even know that was a thing. Neither did I until Bamboozle mentioned it, uh, I believe it was this morning, or possibly even last night. Yeah, apparently if you time the emote quick enough, uh, you both end up inside the, um, you both end up, in end up inside the bubble. <laughs> Which is quite funny. Right, I'm going to offer them an active sensor link. Uh, how about communications of known empires? How's that? And we can have, what about an active sensor link? And in fact, the same. Uh, trade exceptions need to be at least one. And we could uh, sweeten the pot with some energy credits. Why not? See, I can do this diplomacy thing. Now let uh, deal the length in years. Let's say, I don't know, what, 20? If they break the pact, they can't attack for some time. Okay, that's got to be handy. Uh, I want to play Helldivers too, but my deck probably can't run it well and collect my art. <laughs> collection my ass. Your connection is ours, especially with mechs coming. Yeah, you, you need you need a relatively well. I mean, I think it's less about the 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 the, the speed of the download. It's probably more of the ping. If you, you got it, you, you got to have a decent ping when you're playing with other people. I think. I used to be on dial-up. I'm old enough to remember dial-up. That's true, it is a PS5 game, actually, so that's a good, that is, I keep forgetting that, actually. Okay, they're processing our suggestions, this is good. Uh, let's let them think about that for a little bit. Construction complete. Okay, okay, this looks good. Um, defensive Pact Invitation? Oh. 
Wait, have they just... Did they just jump the gun there? <laughs> Did we offer them a defensive pack and they've offered us one right, right back? Is that what happened? Uh, doing the finger DDR on a Steam Deck would probably be hell. The D-pad has censored console controller problems. Ah. Uh, yeah, on, on PC, I actually switched the Dance Dance Revolution controls to the arrow keys. Um, because it means you can still keep moving. You can't aim, but you keep moving. Whereas, whereas if, if, if I... I wasn't doing very well doing it with WASD. It wasn't working well for me, so I, I switched to the arrow keys. Okay, yeah, sure. What else? Oh, we... we okay, non-aggression pact. They're happy with that. That's good. Um, okay, how is that looking? Um, they are... They are happier. That's good. Uh, acceptance minus 18. It's getting better. It's getting better. Um, I think they're still mulling over the trade deal. Uh, DDR was already made for controllers. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, I keep forgetting it was in the original one as well. That's a, that's a good point, actually. Uh, we do have open borders with these guys, don't we? I haven't done this thing and, and accidentally left the borders open. Uh, closed. That would be really funny. Uh. Oh no, open borders. Good, 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 good. I was like, that would be silly otherwise. Ships upgraded. Oh, that's good. Lots of upgrading. I like that. Oh. Construction complete. Uh, trade deal offer. A synaptic collaboration has evaluated your suggestion. We find it sound. Excellent. Right, how's that looking? I am attempting to make... Oh, that's gone down. Why has that gone down? I thought that was like 700 and something. Just now. Uh, I'm puzzled. That's actually gone down. Hmm. Ships upgraded. I'm a little confused about that. That appears to have made our relations worse. Yeah, you've got that, whatever it is, game guard, doodad, which is, I will say, a little invasive, but uh, I haven't had any problems with it. I think in the very early days, people had problems with it. So, uh, yeah. That's 483. That's actually worse. Why is that worse? Our acceptance has gone down. They're now minus 32. Uh, well, that didn't work. That's gone in the opposite direction. That was at minus 18 a second ago. How have I made it worse? I thought I thought we were being friendly, like. Or is this because the whole the, the whole? Well, hang on, let's have a look here. Actually, but I'm asking, like, why has this happened? And it actually fucking breaks it down in front of you. Border friction minus a hundred. Okay, abuses of trust minus sixty two. Oh, okay, because these guys said they were planning something, weren't they? More border friction. Trust is 141. I'm confused. Game hadn't updated from when they were your vassal. Oh, okay, so that was... Oh, wait. okay. This is going to be a, a, a slow burner then, by the looks of it. Right, is there anything else we can... Uh, what else we can do? Diplomacy! Uh... Uh, already gone. Uh, I think we've already got somebody improving relations, uh, somewhere, or not. Oh no, uh, everyone's in a spy network. Uh, wait, which... Oh, okay, spying on the Wasarian de Desolate. Blech, Desolators, that's fine. Um... Uh, trade deal we just did... Oh no, we're, we're gonna have to leave that to tick over. Complete. I'm puzzled. Uh, ooh, star base construction. Okay, more star bases. Good, good. Buy the Federation status by giving them stuff. It'll be worth it long term. Uh, oh, so just like throw things at them is what we're basically saying. Like, I don't know. Uh, 
What have I got on excess? Oh, yeah. Um, all the energy. Well, if I do like 10k of everything, well, or maybe 5k of everything. Let's see how they think about that. Or well, like, I don't know. Can I make this go up any faster? I can only do it by 200s. Special goods you have a lot and are the best way. I don't think I've got a massive amount. Oh, actually, yes, I have. Well, I say that. Some of these are not being replenished. Exotic gases. I give them gas. <laughs> I would, literally, I was about to say. We can give them... Actually, we can give them gas. We've got exotic gases. Would you like our gas? Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they, they would. Right, how much gas we got? Um... Gas the slugs, yeah. Uh, we've got 7k exotic gases, so we could give them. Oh yeah, that's 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 what that's working. That's that's working. <laughs> uh, Zro, are we using Zro? I don't think we have any of that, do we? Oh no, we got 1.3k of it. Right, okay. I'm not gonna get them a huge amount of this. Uh, apparently they're more interested in gas. I'm gonna keep the Zro. They are way more interested in exotic gases. Keep the energy credits you need, those. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. I wish if I held down the button, it would just make them go... Oh, no, I just do that. That's the quick way of doing that, you fool. All right, and that. Yeah, look at this. So we, gave, we can give them, like, 2,000 free gas, and... That ain't gonna make that much of a dent, to be honest. Hey, the Chaos, how's it going? It's only war crimes if there's any evidence and a plausible reason as to why everyone's gone. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They love gas. They do. Right, so if we say, don't give us anything, here's some free gas, uh, they'll be happy about that, won't they? I'm assuming. Let's see how happy they are about that. I mean, they should be over the moon. Ships upgraded. Excellent. So my ship's being upgraded with new thrusters. Blocker cleared. Okay. They are like... A fine gift. Okay. Uh, has has that helped? Minus twenty three. Okay, we got to keep going. The fart loving slugs will soon be our ally. Quite quite possibly. Whether this is a good idea or not, I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, how much gas have I got left? Five thousand. That was a lot of gas. Uh, hey Moon Eyes, how's it going? Actually, give it a year. What? Just, just leave it and see how they see how it does. It isn't a good idea. Don't let that stop you. Don't worry. I frequently don't let good ideas stop me. Giving gifts close together gives you less of a boat. Ah, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Ooh, rogue trader. Excellent. Yeah, it's it's uh, honestly, I, I, I've said this a couple of times. You might, might seem it's a bit of a strange thing for a streamer to say, but it's like Baldur's Gate three and Rogue Trader. They are games I would probably play on my own, so I could just lose myself in it. Um, I'm not sure I'd ever sort of stream them because I think it would just my scatterbrain would not sort of process the whole <laughs> experience. So I don't know. But they look pretty good. They did. Look, uh, I did like the look of Rogue Trader. Okay, construction complete. Excellent. We've expanded our empire. This is good. Oh, have we? We have. Look at that. Okay. I still have too many star bases. This is not good. Give gifts. Give life. Yes. These slugs all want the fart gas. Uh, Rogue Trader is lots of fun. They make proper old school CRPGs. Yeah. I must admit, when I saw the trailers for it, um, the uh, combat didn't look super exciting, but um, I guess that's not the be-all and end-all, isn't it? Oh, I just burnt through all my candy. Oh, shit. Uh, we best buy some. I, I made a mistake there. I need to buy some candy. Uh, yes. Uh... There we go. Whoops. 
Thank God somebody pointed out the market existed. Uh, I've been playing even more Prey. Still hate those cursed mimics and their shape-shifting ways. Is that the one where things can turn themselves into coffee cups? Or you turn yourself into a coffee cup? I vaguely remember someone making a, tra uh, making a video about that. And I was like, that's weird. Farts are love, farts are life. Jackly representative, yeah. Can be a bit of butt pain. It's very much dependent on getting the right build. Ah, oh, yeah, that's the same in a lot of uh, complete. a lot of the TTRPG RPGs. It's like you can have crap builds. Uh, I want a ship set mod. Is because I want my Swalfin Empire to have space boats. <laughs> All I can say, we'll, we'll we'll look into it. I'm I'm uh, I'm accumulating ideas on the Discord at the moment. So, uh, oh, hello. Commercial packed invitation. Oh, that's nothing to do with us. Uh, that's fine. There's nothing I can do about that anyway. But yeah, we are we are looking into uh, what mods to accumulate ships for next time. Upgraded. Okay, all my ships must probably be pretty kick-ass by now. Oh, hello. Migration treaty proposal. The pious Lochan theocracy. Oh, these guys love us now, don't they? I forget this. Because they are now militaristic xenophiles just like us, only they're spiritualists on tops. On tops? On tops! Um, the rope trader gives me my 40k fix. Yeah, I keep... I, honestly, I've actually got uh, Kingmaker is on my Steam wishlist. And it keeps coming up as a, as a uh, discounted for like three quid. I should, I should, I should totally get that at some point. Invite them to the Federation. I don't think I can. But I don't see why I can't actually... I'll, I'll agree to this. Actually, maybe the Loken like us. There was a reason. I have a funny feeling the Loken mechanists are actually enthralled to somebody else. Um... But yeah, I keep meaning to pick up King uh, Kingmaker. Invite them at gunpoint. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a look. Um, no, it's not here. It isn't even an option. Uh, oh, that's why. They are a vassal of the Rectalorans. That's why. Um, uh, a Steam code? Oh, really? Uh, that would be, uh, remarkably generous, Moon Eyes. That's very kind. Unless you want something for it. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, um, yeah, this isn't gonna work because they're, they are, they're a vassal state. That's why that's not gonna work. I keep forgetting that. Did we actually look at the people that like us and just go through all of them and see what happens? I don't know. It might be no idea. Uh, they're a vassal state. They're a protectorate. So let's not worry about that. That's the Jackley, which we can't talk to. What about these guys? Uh... Uh, I managed to have the dumb, which led me getting my pre-order version on Steam, and well, I can't get it fixed. <laughs> oh, so you ended up with two codes. Well, it's very, that's a very kind offer. Oh, these guys are also a vassal state. That's not going to work either. Oh my god. Is everyone just a vassal state to the Rekthaler and Fire Tribes? I think I see the problem. I believe I have seen the problem. Uh, no worry, Moon Eyes. No, no rush at all. That is, that is very kind. No rush at all. Uh... Yeah, okay, I found the problem. All of these people are vassals to the Rekthaler and Fire Tribes. 
that's why no one wants to form a federation because they're already they're already vassals to the five tribes <laughs> except the jackley i think i, I found that i found the underpinning issue of the uh, galaxy ruin <laughs> ah! oh well there's not much i can do about that that's really funny that is very very funny in fact Right, have all my fleets upgraded? Uh, except this one, apparently. Construction complete. Uh, you can still the process of upgrading there? Time to liberate some vassals. I don't think we can really do that. Construction complete. Because what that basically means is, when we look at the map down here, and we're like, oh, the Fire Tribe only have this much. It's not true. They basically have all of this. Um, which is a problem. So, you know, this is fine. Space Rome. Yeah, Orc Space Rome. Uh, oh, I've got another unclaimed system here. Jesus Christ, I should really sort this out. Right. I should expand my empire. Uh, as opposed to expanding my umpire, which is something else entirely. Uh, those are shardlings. Who's that? That's the Jackley. Oh, the Jackley gonna get there first. They might, you know. You wait. What if the Jackley turn on us? That would be the next thing. Uh, the interesting thing about Stellaris, you can survive being a vassal. I had my revenge a few years later. I don't think that's going to happen here. I think what it, what it appears to have happened is. The Rakthalarans, in whichever um, configuration they were at game start, just apparently own everyone, which is a bit of a problem. Expand your vampire, yes. Is that another unclaimed system there? Yeah, it is, but that's actually, that borders the fire tribes, which means there's no way I can get to it. So, not too worried about that. Wait, is this a bunch of... Oh, that's, that's, that's all been excavated. Okay. Um, oh, we are actually coming up against the... Uh, the Desolators over here, but I don't think there's any way we can get to them. You have a whisper, sir. Uh, thank you very much, Moon Eyes. Let me, let me have a quick look at that. That is very kind of you. Thank you very much. That is much appreciated, dude. Thank you. Thank you very much. You guys are stupid generous, I gotta say. The, 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 the size of this channel and my random bumble fucking, uh, you, you guys are stupid generous, so thank you very much. I will check it out later on. Thank you very much. I will, well, I'll probably check it out tomorrow, actually. Um, but thank you. That's, that's really kind. Colony established. Ooh, I've established a colony. Was I supposed to establish a colony? Apparently I established a colony. Complete. I don't remember doing that. Uh, oh, it's the orcs! Hey, I've got an orc planet. Okay, uh, I best actually do something with this uh, before I forget it's there. Um. Okay, uh, so I guess uh, probably some housing would be a good start. Well, I don't know, actually. Judge Dredd, let's get him in first. Uh, and then we have some luxury riders. It is now Mega City 1. Now I've got the urge to do Stellaris. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like... I didn't think, when we first started this, I didn't think I would get this far. I think I would totally lose my shit, but everyone in chat was super helpful. Uh, without screaming at me, <laughs> so it was great. So uh, yeah, we're we're, uh, we're gonna run this empire into the ground and uh, see what happens eventually, um, and then start like a customized run and see how we go from there. If my sense of humor and your endearing bumblings entertaining, well, thank you very much for saying so, Roach Mogul. Plus, this is my favorite game. <laughs> Uh, right. Oh, okay, that's more stuff. Uh, wait, what is that other place I was talking about stealing? Sorry, uh, lawfully claiming. Uh, here and here. Okay, cool. So I don't have any habitable systems. Wait, was there an uninhabitable system here? 
Oh, well, that was a tomb world. I could do nothing about this. Uh, no, we can't colonize it. Uh, terraform, that's the button I was looking for. No, we don't have climate restoration. And of course, we don't talk about Baltris, uh, where we accidentally uh, misguided uh, a entire civilization to blowing themselves up, which was not my finest moment. Uh, I've got to be brutally honest. It was funny, uh, don't get me wrong, but it was just uh, unfortunate. Uh, okay, right. What's going on now? Ships upgraded. Oh, yes, more upgrades. Right, we're nearly there. No, we still. Oh, wow, 12k. Okay, yep, the, the, the ship upgrades coming in now. This is good. Ah! Bultras. Bollocktras. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> uh, can I rename the system? That's the name of the system, though, isn't it? Oh, I can rename the system. I forget you can rename everything in this game. Funny with a side of extinction, yeah. Oh, I got there in the end. Love it. Excellent. Okay. Ah. Oh. There you go. Or maybe it should be Trez Bullocks. You know, just as good. Uh, what's this? Uh, research agreement. Oh, we don't care. That doesn't involve me. Right, society. Society. Right, what am I actually working on here? Energy network, Duracell. Right. Have we got access to the... Uh... Ooh, hello. Galactic campaigns. Nano vitality crops. Hostile environment adaptation command matrix. Hmm, hmm interesting. Uh, one of the things I like about Stellaris is the music. The music is fantastic in this game. Um, yeah, it really is, uh, 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 quite a stonker. Wait, hold on. Have we got... I've just suddenly had a thought. Oh, no, it's Mega Engineering. What am I doing here? Ah, oh, we haven't got the, uh... We haven't got the, um... Ah! The cybernetic stuff. Because I think we've got the, uh... What's it called? The flesh is weak? Is that actually happening? Oh no, display of power. Oh, I mistimed it. I mistimed it last time. I remember now. Yeah, I completely mistimed it. <laughs> ah! Whoops. Um. Right, what was I doing? Research. Uh. Oh, you want to rename it Trey Bollocks? Okay, cool. Let's do that. <laughs> I'm such a child. Oh wait, that's that. That's the wrong. Uh, that's not the. I, I renamed the star. Oh, of course, because if you rename the star, it renames the system, the, all the systems as well. Okay. That's something else I've just learned. Excellent. Just as well, uh, Twitch is fairly uh, hard and fast with its uh, profanity. <laughs> Oh, this is fine. Uh, and I still didn't choose a new research thing. Right, uh, what have we got? Glad to go. Uh, Cybrex Mining Hub. That's gonna take... 147 months. Okay. Uh... Mining station output 100%. I mean... Could be handy. Uh, what else we got? Command Matrix. Ship fire rate plus 5%. Also got your DLC. Thank you very much, Math. That is very kind. Thank you very much. That is very generous of you. Thank you, thank you. The Swolfins are coming. Research complete. Oh god, everything's happening. Uh, yeah, I tell you what, if you want to... Uh, okay, I right. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to put the Discord link in the chat because it's too easy for the bots to pick up. So, if... You have a look at my About page... There's, uh, there's an open link to the Discord on my about page. Uh, drop in there, and we're kind of accumulating ideas in the Discord for things. So I think Roach Mogul's already sent me some files for his uh, rock people. So uh, we'll, we'll see about getting your, your, your bench-pressing dolphin people involved as well. So uh, we'll go with that. 
And now I'm stalling Solaris again just so I can have another encounter with Thug Bugoff, the thing what Zorch's starships. I'm sorry, something called Thug Bugoff. Bugoff? I've renamed it. That sounds incredibly orky. I like it. Great value Necrons. <laughs> Buy one, get one free. Zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one. Okay, uh, shit, I need to make a decision here. Um, how long is that going to take? 71 months. 34 months. Maybe I'll take this, because simply the fact this is short. Right, uh, research complexes, shield capacitors. Uh, quickly be transferred to re reinforce a ship's shields. Hmm, could be fun. Uh, gravitic sensors. Ah, okay, so where we've got a head start here, this is where all the events and stuff give us little points of things. I wondered where they went, and now I know. Um, so what have we got? A uh, small disruptor. Are disruptors any good? Or is the plasma better than disruptors? I don't know. Uh, advanced reactor booster? That sounds fun. Uh, how long is it going to take? 150 months, Christ. Shield capacitors are top tier battleship upgrades. Uh... So, yes? 61 months. That's not too bad, actually. Let's go for that. Good on cruisers, too. Okay, I, I, I feel a uh, ship redesign coming on at some point soon. I've only just upgraded the stuff I've got. Uh, disruptors seem pretty strong. Not huge damage, but ignore shields and armor. That is handy. That is super handy. Uh, I was playing a couple of years ago. Sent off a recon ship. A military power rating of 90-some thousand. Yeah, that always is terrifying. Colony established. Uh, we, wait, a colony? Oh, this is, this is another colony I utterly failed to notice I was making. Right, hold the phone. Yeah, we had that when we first encountered the uh, unpronounceable parrot people here. I think our strongest fleet was like 500, and they had something that was something like 8,000, and we were just like, ah, ah, ah. I'm not messing with that. I'm not solving disruptors, because shields are very important. Yeah, the AI tends not to do the whole, um, uh, it tends to overdo the fleet thing, doesn't it? Right, okay, where were the two places I just colonized? Probably at the bottom of the least. At the least? At the bottom of the least. Uh, I can't remember. Where were they? There's one. Found one. Right. Uh, Desert World. Oh, did we colonize this with pig people? Oh, we did. Uh, wait. Did we not? Ter did we not? Uh, genetically mess with these people? I think we need to genetically mess with the pigs. Getting a single ship to 2,500 is unlikely. 90k plus. Ow. Yeah, that's that's definitely... That's a very big red flag there. Can I mess with these guys? Or have we already messed with these people? No, hang on. I can't remember. So hang on. We messed with the Tendrakians. We messed with the orcs. We got a lot of robots. Where are these robots coming from? Somewhere I'm building robots. I don't actually know. <laughs> I don't remember building robots, but never mind. Um. Oh, also these are these are not modified ones. Oh, this galaxy species. Hang on a minute. It was Empire species. There we go. Oh boy. That issue is at the bottom of the least of my concerns. Sounds like a new diss. Yeah. Um. Okay, let's see if we can mess with these guys. What would be a good option here? So what have we got? They've got... I can't get rid of Repugnant, and I can't get rid of Slow Breeders. They have... Okay, I've only got one trait point left, so I can't actually add or remove any of these. This is why I didn't do anything with them, because there's nothing to be done, so never mind. Let's not worry about that. Uh, right, colony. Um, 
Right, one was this one. Oh yeah, because these guys these guys like deserts. I remember now. I think I want the aquatic species DLC. Well I think uh I, I think uh uh Math just set us up with the uh aquatics as well. Uh thank you again, Math. That's very kind. So yeah, we've we got them going on. It's gonna be an interesting time next time around. Okay, uh, it's still a colony. Can I designate this? Because it's a desert world. What would be good for a desert world? Or is that just, is this... Oh, stability, right, that's that's how colonies work. Got it. Right, uh, let's go with... Again, I'm going to go with a precinct and luxury housing, just because I can't think of whatever is the best one to build first. City districts, probably. In fact, I imagine the city districts probably need to go before the uh, residences, probably. Desert mining planet. Uh, maybe. Um, it's got some blockers here, actually. What have we got on the blockers thing? I can't clear any of those. Crystals, indeed. I can't, I can't clear any of those. Never mind. Uh, remember. Right, okay, that's fine. And then, I think it was this one? Yep, there's another one. Oh, I already, I already started messing with that one, so that's good. Construction complete. Nice! Okay, what's that? Newly found a colony. That's also fine. Mu Ophiuchi. I don't even remember colonizing this one. Or was this, this was this earlier? Oh, Wasabi Prime. Yeah, no, that's one we just did. I knew that. Making a prison mining colony on a desert planet. That's like sending people to the reverse gulag. I mean... I don't know about reverse gulag. That's probably actual gulag. Uh, our stockpiles and these resources are about to run out. Volatile moats. Uh, what are we using these for? I'm assuming... Right, we're using 14 of these per month. I'm not entirely sure what we're using them for. Oh, gulags are frozen! Right, that makes sense. Yeah. What's more just like a slightly hotter gulag? Check my edicts. Uh, edicts. I got fortify the border. Which is uh, starbase upgrade and starbase capacity. We've got exotic gases as fuel. I haven't got anything using moats. Do your candy forges use moats? I don't think so. Oh, the upgraded ones. Uh, that is a question. That is a question. Do I have one here? No, I don't. I'm sure I built one earlier. Is that it? Ah! Ah! The Mega Forges use moats. I didn't realize that. Yep! That'd be it! Uh, can I downgrade that? Okay, because I think we've literally... I think there is one place... Let me check here. I'm pretty sure there's literally, like, one place we're getting moats from. It's worth having spending moats is fine. Yeah, but we can't replace them other than buying them. So I guess we just buy some, I suppose. How expensive are they? Um, 500 for 7,000... We can buy that. Sup oh, monthly buy order. Oh, is that something? Oh, add new monthly trade. Holy crap. There's something else I didn't know we could do. Uh, okay, so if we said... 14, because that's what we're using. That'll keep it steady, won't it? Oh, max buy price. That didn't work. Hang on. Uh, 20? Uh, could do. 
So, well, 10. No, hang on. 120 is 10. So, or 10 is 120. So if I'm getting 20, I got. But that's got to be 240 then. No, I don't know. How does this work? <laughs> it can get expensive as a galactic torches, but burn that bridge when you get to it. So what about the max buy price? Do I have to worry about that? 20, 20 energy credits per unit. Oh, you can ignore the unit price. So 20 is fine then. Is that, is that right? Is that good? Okay, cool. Honestly, that is that is the thing with this game. Every every time, that's saying that's actually got worse. Oh no, it's rare crystals. Oh no, that has worked perfectly. We're now at plus five volatile motes. Okay, we can put a. Tr I didn't. Oh shit! Now we. Oh god. Now I've got an energy credit deficit. Uh. <laughs> this is fine. I shouldn't have an energy credit deficit, but I I do. Have I failed to upgrade some generators somewhere? What have I what have I done here? Okay. Yeah, the the monthly trade is now actually bringing our we're not actually generating any credits because of the monthly trade. This doesn't feel like a good option. That's that's fucked us a bit. Gotta make a monthly sell order. Oh, to offset it. Right, okay. Uh, so I guess minerals would be a good idea. Sell gas. Uh, what's my, what's my upkeep of gas? My gas is only plus six. Maybe I should do some minerals. My gas is only plus six per month. My minerals are 483. Imagine not having an income of 700 credits mid-game. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing! Um... Wouldn't it be better to do minerals or something? Because the thing is with the gas, if I, if I do like minus whatever for gas, then I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna make it back, am I? Yeah, I need to make more moats. Yeah, or or I think, to be honest. Or I can downgrade I can downgrade the forges because I think it's like I said. Is there a way of finding out where like like is there like a resource list? So you're like, oh, here's the planet that produces whatever. Um, because I've got no idea where the moats are coming from, but I think it's literally one planet. Planets and sectors. Okay. Which is under... There. Uh... Well, that's, that's the planets and sectors. Um... Hold alt. Ah! Something else we've learned. There are a lot of symbols to look through, Jesus Christ. Uh, it's got to be here somewhere. It's probably out on the frontier somewhere. Wait, is that habitable? Oh, it's terraforming. Okay. Uh, energy, energy. There is literally one planet. And I don't even know where that planet is. Um, ah. No, that's crystals. That's moats. There we go. Four moats there. Oh, shift. Uh, nope. Shift does nothing. Spreadsheet games with fancy graphics. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh... Well, I found four. That's something. I think that's probably about all we're actually making. 
Yeah, okay. Right, hang on. That should that should un complete. That should unfuck itself. Right, that's unfucked itself. That's good. Um Okay. Right, we're producing eight and we're using fourteen. Right, okay. So what I need to do is I think I just randomly built mega forges everywhere before I started the stream. So what I need to probably do. So this uses <coughs> Okay, each of these uses two. Moat mines. Okay. Well, where's the planet that I actually had them on? Uh, which is here. That doesn't actually have a colony, so I can't do that. Also, the storm's back. Um, I've got two research things here. Right, moat mines, moat mines, moat mines. Uh, synthetic crystal plants. Oh, hey, we could uh, make our own crystals, which would then offset the deficit we've got there. Oh my god, we're getting into economics. This is nuts. Uh, the moats on the map are mined in space. Oh, okay. I don't think uh, we've got the tech for that. No, doesn't look like it. However, if I built a couple of these, that would offset our crystal deficit. Which is something I can fix. I can smell the sizzling. Yeah, so can I. That's probably a bad thing. Um, okay. <laughs> I see smoke! Um... The really annoying thing is, I, I filled all my planet slots uh, before the stream started. So, that's that's not ideal. Um, but all we'd need is one building to produce that, and that would offset it. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll leave that going for a bit. Or we could just buy some. We could just buy a flat amount, and that would solve it sort of shortly. Um, what have we got? Let's just buy 500 of the fucking things that'll... Ooh, hello. Space-born life form encountered. Why did that suddenly move? Oh, okay, the price has gone up all of a sudden, by the looks of things. Uh, okay. Oh, this is confusing. We can hear the gears and missing teeth grinding in your skull. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. The buttons. There's too many buttons. Okay, this is, this is perfectly fine. Uh, environmental engineer trait. Uh, Log, son of jerk. Oh, uh, where's he? Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Governing the Great Wheel. Uh, oh, nice. Nice. That's actually not terrible. Wait, why does it say the Oracle is idle? That seems a poor choice. Oh, we could actually put them in charge of a sector, couldn't we? Hold on. Um. Right. Agenda okay, available. I have a cunning plan. Shut up your council agenda, good god. The spreads overrunning our location launch a save function on my command. Danger close. <laughs> yeah. Don't trust the autosave. The autosave does nothing. Thanks for the hydrate bath. So what do we got here? Um uh, that's yeah, okay, so we could do that. <laughs> actually, do you know what? I could, might actually put them in charge of the Great Wheel. What's the worst that could happen? Um. Yeah, no, I want to. I want to change them. I want to change it back. There you go. Um. It'd be beneficial here. Cool down. Yeah, I need some. I need some coolant. That's my thing. Only some planets will be able to build moat mines. Oh, okay, right. I don't think we've got the tech for that. I could be wrong, but I don't think we do. 
Right, who'd be good for sector management? Anybody? Anybody? Uh, that's scientist. Yeah, why not? You'll do. You can build moat refineries on any planet, up to just minerals. Yeah, I haven't I haven't seen it as uh an option. So I don't think I can build it at all. I mean, it's it's not showing up in the build options. Uh, what's this? Council agenda. Uh Oh, that just tells me the agenda's available. Okay, cool. Uh science ship without leaders. Oh, I've done it again, haven't I? Uh, science ship, there we go. Wait, I've only got four scientists though, so... Uh... He's governing somewhere, so he can't drive it if he's governing somewhere, can he? I don't think so. Oh wait, no, it says I've got five of... One, two, three, four... Well, if I've got five of five, how come I only account to four? One, two, three, four. Somebody's lying to me. I can count up to four. <laughs> Do I need all my science ships at this point? Not really. I could probably uh, nix one of them, but this doesn't add up. It says five of five, but I've only got four scientists. Huh? If my overall leader are scientist, uh, they might be. Yes. Yes, it's it's Dr. Up on Hamster. I forgot about that. Right, okay, so we just we just fold this science ship because we don't need that anymore. Okay. Uh yeah, sure. Oh wait, just make sure that's not the good one. Uh no, it's a standard one. Okay. Because we do have the weird freaky science ship. We don't want to ruin that one. I could even count to four, yeah. I can only count to four. I can only count to four. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, what's going on here then? Um, repeal Charter of Workers' Rights. Uh, I can't remember what the thing actually is. Details? Th those are not details. It's not showing me anything. Uh, I've forgotten what this is. Wait, you know Psycho Stick? <laughs> yeah, somebody... Somebody showed it to me ages ago. Um, that's the only one of theirs I think I've seen. It's like, yeah. I can only count to four. Yeah. Uh, um. Shall I oppose this? I don't know. I'm going to oppose it. Oh, I, wait. Did that say I couldn't oppose it? Oh, I'm already opposing it. Okay, cool. All right, what's this? Five-year plans. We're supporting that one. That one's liable to pass. Okay. What about this one? Oh, nobody, nobody wants that. Oh, it's the ja <laughs> it's the Jackie who wanted to go, go through. That's funny. Um, uh, the, well, sure, that's that's okay. That's fine. You guys carry on with that. Yeah, uh, you need to see dogs like socks. Okay, <laughs> I will. I will look that up later. Uh, okay. The Jackley have more Diplo weight than you. Shit, do they? Son of a bitch, they do! Uh, they'd have even more if they weren't a slaver empire. They're a slaver empire. This is terrible. Oh well. Yeah, the Jackley population is messed. Well, what happened, right? While we were busy faffing around, what what basically happened is, we we discovered them here. We eventually made friends with them, and they just went all the way down here. And I was I was gonna take this, but they were way faster than I was, so they just stole all of these systems down here. Which is why, uh, when everyone asks why is your uh, why is your empire in two halves, that's why. Uh, blame the slugs, basically. Uh, I didn't move fast enough. Uh, do they like us yet? 
Minus 23. That's that's not going to go through. We're just going to have to keep bribing them. Uh, right, are all my ships upgraded now? That'd be, that'd be nice to know. The fart-loving Jackley, indeed. No, that's still being upgraded. Or is it not being upgraded? Oh, it's because we've run out of candy. That's why. Derp. Wait, what's that? That's only got 14 ships in it. It's 3k power. Oh, it's a it's all it's a cruiser and destroyers. That's a weird fleet. Why have I got that on its own? Oh, I forgot about it. It's just sat there. That's that's why. Um Can I merge that with a noodle strike force? I think I can. I'll probably be a good idea. Well actually, I don't know. It's also probably very slow. I just assumed it was some sort of clever strategy to isolate them from growing even more. No, you give me too much credit, Shepard. You give me far too far too much credit. I am I am not that schmod. But uh thank you for thinking so. How big is the game map? Okay, so uh the one uh this particular map. So a little bit of a preamble. Uh I didn't look at any of the settings before I started this game. So whatever the default settings were, that's just what I went with. I don't think there's anywhere else that we haven't discovered. So this is like the entire set here. This bit in the middle is unreachable because there's no uh, hyperlanes that go there. I've just noticed there's some unclaimed systems down there. And there's actually an unclaimed system that actually has a viable planet. Why has no one taken those? Oh, because the Rectalorans have closed the borders. That's why. Never mind. Um, so yeah, I don't think there's anyone hidden. I think these are all the players. Um, and, uh, most of them are hateful people that don't like us. Because, uh, the Desolators, the Reavers, the Exterminators, uh, they're all, uh, purifiers. So they just want to kill everybody. So, yeah. Why do I have an Enclave down in Fire Tribe space? Because I wanted to get that archaeological thing. And then I was going to try and be clever and maybe hand them back the system and see if it made them happier. What I might actually do, which might piss them off even more, I might actually give the planet to the Lock and Mechanists. I might actually just piss off from here and hand it to them. Because it's a pain in the ass. Also, the only thing I've got here is a science ship. And also, it's massively reinforced. So I could give... No, wait, hang on a minute. If I handed it to the mechanists, they're actually a vassal of the fire tribe anyway, aren't they? Or are they not? They are... They're at war with the fire tribes. Okay, that could actually be a bit of a big brain move. I'm going to do that. There's a gate there. Keep it, it'll be useful later. Well, the, the only reason there's a gate there is because, um, I was, I think I was trying to run away. <laughs> uh, because I suddenly thought this is, this is a terrible idea. I think I just built, I can't remember if I built that there. I already own it. There's an enclave to the north as well. Yes. Oh, this was the planet I was possibly going to send them back. That was another reason I built a gateway there, because so I could escape. And I was pondering handing this back to make them like me more, but I don't think it's going to matter. Um, I got to see how actually well defended this is. It's not as well defended as I like, actually. Uh, can I build some guns? Uh. Apparently, I can't build any guns. Uh. Oh, yes, I can. Gun battery. <laughs> well, that's kind of what I thought. I, I thought these guys are going to eventually go to war with me anyway, and I thought if I can doorstop them. So, yeah, it's... it's. I don't know whether it'll work out. It's a bit of a mess. It's a glorious mess. Psionic, upgraded. psionic jump drives. That sounds fun. Ships upgraded. 
Uh, what if we resource storage is full? Minor artifacts. Oh, okay. What can we do here? Uh, are we still build? Are we still building the Slybrex? I don't think we are. Uh, no, we're not. Um. So hang on a second. I think we can only build these when that's active, or does that mean we can build these whenever we want? Having raiding fleets pouring into their backyard, trashing their stuff. Yeah, that was sort of what I was thinking. Oh, they're like navigators from 40k. Oh, cool beans. Okay, cool. I thought we could only build these when... Um... When the relic was active, is that not the case? Apparently that's not the case. That's a revelation. Huh. Oh, it's passive. I'm an idiot. I am an absolute gibbering moron. So here's the thing, chat. What I thought, what I thought, I thought you couldn't build the Warforms unless you activated the Warforge. Well, it turns out that the passive effect is being able to build the Warforms anyway. It's when you activate it, it gives you alloys. I did not understand that. <laughs> um, I thought this had to be active, so we've spent an absolute fucking fortune on this thing. And I didn't actually need to do that. <laughs> now I do know, indeed. Uh, museum exhibits. Put the minor artifacts on public display to inspire our people with wonders of the past. This action must be performed as a decision on a planet. That could be funny. Uh, celebrate diversity? 7,000 unity? Why not? Um... Sell to private collectors for energy credits. Uh, how much of this have we actually got? That's Unity. Hold on. A fuck ton. Why not? Planetary. I want to see. Oh, okay. That has to be a planetary decision. Got it. Okay. So for a giggle, what do we got here? Uh. There you go. Send artifacts to museums. Bureaucrat output. I don't know. I don't know. Private collectors is a desperation thing. Okay, cool. Huh. That's really funny. I didn't think I didn't think we could build these without the artifact. Well, lesson learned. Also, where are my invasion fleets? That's a good question. Uh, are they somewhere where they're not on the... Oh, I've got the butcher in charge of them. That's good. Uh, there. Because I'm waiting for something to kick off over here, because that's inevitably going to happen at some point. I think I need more ships over here. Um, yeah, I, I definitely think we need more ships over here. How much I got? A fuck ton. Now what is a fuck ton? Is it more than a shit ton? <laughs> yeah, now is it a metric fuck ton or a uh, imperial fuck ton? That's, that's the important question. Uh, you, you, that, that, that can trip you up, you know. Right, I think this is a planetary capital. I might actually be able to build some more uh, ships here. Oh, hell yes. And we've got a 40% build chip. Build chip? Ship build speed. Okay. Oh fuck, am I out of candy again? I've just spent all my candy again. That's that's an oopsie. How do I keep doing this? How much do these cost? Oh, they cost a lot now. Oops. Uh Use the Cybrex relic. <laughs> yeah, after all that said and done. Um we could afford it with the minerals, I think, actually. Uh, where is it? Uh, fuck, how do I get to that? How do I get to that screen? 
Where does that screen usually live? Shit. Uh I've 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 absolutely forgotten where that is where that screen is. Imperial fuck ton is bigger. Yeah, that'd be good. Hey Camify! Let's stick with metric. Uh no problem, Matt. Enjoy your dinner. Yeah, I've forgotten where it is as well. It's not is it it's not structures, it's not politics. Where do you get to that? Discoveries? Ah. There you go, discoveries. Uh Cool, that solves that one. Right, uh, we're a little low on mining, but that's okay. Uh, wait, is that a... Oh, that's another tomb world, okay. Metric is the unit of the oppressors, is the French. <laughs> oh, dear. Thing is, we've honestly... We have honestly got a war brewing on two fronts here, which I'm slightly worried about. What I think I'm going to do, I'm going to take the biggest fleet I've got here, which is the second Star Order, and I'm going to yeet them over here, because I've got gates and shit everywhere now. Oh, look at that! Instantaneous travel! Because I've got one gate there and one gate over there. I, I sometimes know what I'm talking about. It doesn't happen very often. So actually, we can get reinforcements back and forth. Okay, so if I was really smart, I should be stationing my fleets in the gate systems. That way, if something kicks off, I can just respond to it really fast. Delicious gateway travel, yes. Full fat. All calories. Okay, uh... Oh, have we just reached the end of the diplomacy thing? We have! Look at this. It's gonna cost me all of my unity. <laughs> uh, I might hold off on that just for a little bit longer? <laughs> or is that all unity does? I think that's all unity actually does, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. So there's no reason not to. Right, uh, Federation Naval Capacity Contribution- Oh, Border Friction! If that lowers Border Friction, that will make the diplomacy with the slugs easier. Okay. Which also upload- uh, it in increases another- Ascension slot. Slot? As ascension slot. No, let's- <laughs> Never mind. Oh boy. <laughs> When's that break coming up? I feel like I might need it. Okay, um, what shall we pick next? What have we got here? Right, the one thing we can't pick is the synthetic nonsense, because uh, we haven't got the thing up yet, but there we go. Voidborn. Interesting. Shared destiny. Envoys. Transcendent learning. Tech ascendancy. Uh, yeah, I, I remember the reason we didn't take this. Um, because I remember half of chat said, this is really good, you should take this as early as possible. And the other half of chat said, this is really naff, and I went with option two. And I have a funny feeling option one may have been the better op a better idea, because we would have benefited it for longer. So, uh, yeah. Let's go for it. When is that break coming up? I might need it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's beginning, it's beginning to feel like that. I've got 76 unity left. That's hilarious. I still have an issue with the starbase capacity, but I don't I don't see an easy way of fixing it just now. Uh, I wonder what state the desolators or uh, the exterminators are in. Probably not a great one. Uh, Urian Septim got the Butcher 2's trait. Oh god, they're even- oh my god. Okay, if we- if we ever invade anywhere... They do plus 15% damage and plus 50% collateral damage. I've got a one-eyed... Lunatic in charge of all my Cybrex Warforms. This is- this is great. I voted for option one. <laughs> yeah, I think I might see the, uh... The benefits of that. Time to invade. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, hello. What now? 
Uh, consumer goods are full. Okay, can we sell those for energy credits, possibly? Make use of that leader. Yeah, I it it it's it's probably a good idea. Right, let's sell. Uh, let's do two of those. That's good. And then what we could do is buy some minerals. Uh, that balances it out a little better. There we go. In fact, we've got a shit ton of food as well, actually. Um, hmm. There we go. That's a bit more sensible, isn't it? There we go. That's better. Avoid a looming war on two fronts by starting a war on one front. Yeah. Well, the, the problem is... Here's my concern. The Istran Reavers are quite spicy. Um, I don't know if, if I'm... I think I might be spying on them. Let me double check. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, we asked... Did I actually launch this? No, I didn't launch that. Whoops. I forgot to launch it. Yeah. Their fleet power, tech, and economy is equivalent to us. So that's not great. Um, The... Where are they? The Desolators are in deep shit, I think. I think I forgot to launch this as well. Yeah, I did. We could go and kick the Desolators, to be honest. A galaxy-wide conflagration, call it a hunch. Yeah, probably. We could launch a punitive war against the uh, Desolators, because I don't think there's actually much of them left. I think this is all they have, but I don't think we can actually get at them, because... Oh no, we can't get at them! Oh wait, no! Uh, no, we can't get at them. That's really funny. Yeah, we we can't... The borders are shut all the way around for us. We, we legit can't get to them. That's really funny. Because the Watchers won't open their borders. I bet you they won't. I wonder if they... Well, it's, it's worth a look. They will not talk to us. Though apparently our relations have been improving. For some reason. Yeah, I can't do anything with these guys. You can via the wormhole. It wouldn't let me. Oh, if I declared war, I could go through the wormhole. Uh-huh. Right, so that goes to Amastes, which is... Oh, look at that. How convenient. Um... Okay, that would leave this front a little bit undefended, though, which I'm slightly worried about. Uh... But then if their fleet is that rubbish, I think we could... Hello, phone. I do apologise. I could have left on an alarm from yesterday. How amusing. Right, okay. Um, If their, if their fleet force is that pathetic, um, we could just crush them in pretty short order. So let's do that. Though I don't believe I've actually saved scum once here. Then the watchers defend that space. Yeah, that is true. Right, what's our what's our big old uh Oh yeah, hang on, I need to declare war on them first. Wait, is nobody is nobody in charge here? Nobody's in charge here. Uh I can't merge these either, can I? Are they too big? Destroyer, destroyer. Okay, I'm perplexed. Maybe they're too big. I don't know. Ah. Merging these fleets will create a fleet that is over our command limit of 100. Got it. But if I merged... Uh, how... Oh, wait, fleet manager. Right, hang on. Hold on. So, uh, I need to figure out who's in the same place, actually. Ah! Um. Oh no, I can't do that from here. Hang on. 
So, how do I deselect? Is it shift? No, that just selects one. Control? Is control deselect? I just... I, I, I want to deselect one of these. Like, for example... Like, I want to deselect that one. Oh, right-click to deselect that fleet. Reading. Reading, ladies and gentlemen. Then we merge these two. Construction complete. Yeah. No. That. Not sure that worked. Oh. A resolution has passed. Uh, the Guardian Angels Act. Uh, I don't even remember. We were actually voting on that one, but whatever. Hey, Real Castle Gaming! How's it going? Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's how's the car racing? And all manner of... Wait, was it NASCAR or something? I can't remember. I have a brain like a sieve. You quit. Okay, not well then, I guess. <laughs> that answers that one. But well, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Ah, yes, excellent. Now we have two fleets. Do I have somebody spare here? Um, Toxicity, not something I'm a fan of. Nah, you can do without that in your games and stuff like that. Nope, I fully understand that. Um, oh, it doesn't matter how... Because I've got... Okay, these guys are doing nothing. Right, okay, hold on. Uh, I've been doing a lot of Elite Dangerous. Oh, cool! Yeah, I, I had a I had a bit of an Elite Dangerous last year uh, moment last year. In fact, I think it was one of the uh, one of the earliest games I streamed. I think. So yes, I am not uh, entirely unfamiliar with the Elite Dangerousness. Yeah, that's that's no fun if you've got that going on. Right, is there nobody that has a fleet? Ship hull points plus fifteen percent. Combat disengagement chance minus 33. Interesting. Uh, let's, let's have an aggressive... Let's have an unyielding guy. Yeah, why not? Right, okay. EP drivers all over the place. It's not what you want, is it? Okay, let's declare war on the piggy people. Piggy people. Okay. Declare war! Uh, end threat. Declare war. war. This conflict is exactly what our forces have been preparing for. Pathetic. Right, okay. We return to it again in a few years. Yeah, it's, it's weird how, um... stuff happens like that. It's really quite annoying. But it's best to get out. Um, you're not having any fun with it. Nope! I still can't go here. Or is that because I have to do it in system? I wonder if it's because I have to do it in system. Hang on. It still won't let me do it. Oh, I need to pass time. Oh, there you go. Now lit. Uh, are you guys going as well? Oh, that's an invasion fleet. Well, actually, taking an invasion fleet might be able to be a bad shout either, to be honest. Oh, avoiding hostiles due to evasive stance. That's fine. Okay. So we need to go over here. At which point, we should have somebody appear. Like so. Ooh, I am glad. That's that's a big... That's that's 14,000 versus... Oh, God. Uh, six. Okay, we're twice as powerful, but uh, hopefully... Eep. Just as well it wasn't any smaller. Uh, is there anyone else I can set? Maybe I should actually... Hold on a minute. Maybe I should send the reserves. I do actually have some reserves. I've got another eight grand's worth. Let's let's send them through as well. Why not just do the whole thing?
I'm not taking any chances. Uh, also, I've lost control of my map. Uh, where are we? Here we are. Alright, come on. Travel, travel. Wait, are they not They're not engaging. Why are they not engaging? Oh, now I have both my fleets there. Now you're in trouble, lads. Now you're in trouble. Right, are we on uh, aggressive? That's why they're not attacking, because I had them set to passive. This happens a lot. Yep, just just noticed that myself. Commence Operation Pigs in Blanket. <laughs> Here we go! Oh, 5,000. This should be short. This should be short. Oh, witness the death disco! Yep, there you go, they're dead. Handled. Uh, I wonder if there's a habitable planet here. I don't think there are any habitable planets here at all. Death Rave, yeah. Hostile station engaged. Yeah, that ain't gonna last too long either. Should we slow this down a little bit, just for a giggle? Boom. This system is now mine. <laughs> right. Um. Okay. Uh. Is that any good? <gasps> Advanced combat computer, plasma thrusters. Okay, we need to we need to send a science bot through there to hoover that up. Okay. Uh, science bot. Uh, where is nearest science bot? There is nearest science pod. Holy shit, I nearly thought this I nearly thought this through. I mean not entirely, but I nearly thought this through. <laughs> I'm staring sorry gauging as captain. If I die, tell my wife I said hello. Yeah. Okay, we're sending an invasion fleet through there as well, because we may as well put it to good use. Well, that's probably uh messed their uh oh hello. Confidence wavers. A group of auxiliary operatives in the Wasarian Desolators has begun shying away from their assigned tasks, citing a lack of confidence in their overall purpose. Unusually well informed about Operation Gather information and perhaps the spy network as a whole. Ooh! Okay. So it's treason then. Energy networks lost. Minus 600 credits. Uh, lost auxiliary operatives modifier added for 12 months. Operation difficulty plus 2. Versus 90% of panicked operatives and 9% of unwavering insight. I mean, option two sounds funnier. And let's face it, this empire probably isn't going to be around long enough for us to worry about it. It will have their head on a spike in a galactic standard week, yeah. Hmm. I have option two. Because I don't think it's going to matter. <laughs> Honestly. I don't think it's actually going to make a blind bit of difference. Right, did we actually lose anything there? We lost three Corvettes. Okay. Oh, they disappeared. We didn't actually destroy them. They ran away. Oh, well. Right, okay. So we've now got a beachhead here. Here we go. Panicked operatives. Oh, our ability. So it's just. Oh, we just ended up with this anyway. Oh, well, never mind. It doesn't matter. That legit doesn't matter because we're just going to crush them. We are going to crush them like a bugs. Okay. 
because their empire is a lot smaller than the goat people. So uh, this this could be funny. Okay, uh, have we have we rebuilt? Wait, there's a star base already here. Nice! I can actually build stuff here now. This is good. Uh, it's actually quite a nice station. Uh, let's put some torpedo platforms on there. I'm just like, who called this Amoeba Torpy Fun Time class? And then I go, wait, that was me. <laughs> oh, yes. Right, so we can uh, fortify this position a little bit. Now that fleet is still lurking around somewhere, but that's okay, because we're going to have a FDL inhibitor thing here, so that should work out. Actually, I don't know how that works out with a wormhole. We'll find out in a bit. This is good! Uh, we got people that are idle, but that's okay. I really should learn to, like, consolidate my fleets a little bit. Okay, they're damaged, but that's okay. Uh, also, my starbase cap is going up. This is good. The commissar would like a word with these Corvette crews when they come back. Energy pistol charging. <laughs> yeah. Are you running away? <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, the enigmatic cache is now leaving. Uh, a relief for the citizens of Little Wheel on the Prairie. A shame. A relief, probably. Oh, no. Oh, what's this? That's a transport fleet of only 423. I'm not worried about that at all. Uh, what have we full up with? Uh, oh, resource storage. Oh, it's minor artifacts again. Uh, right, we got an energy deficit because we've just taken this over, I'm guessing? That's got to have something to do with it. Uh, right, we best spend our Xeno shite then. Um, discoveries? Here we go. Right. Uh, more celebrating diversity? Oh, we can't do that. Because we've already got it. Uh, we can't actually spend this. That's kind of annoying. What else can we do with that? I don't think there's anything else we can actually do with it. Oh. Bruce Mogul is in command of the army or is he an admiral? Uh, I honestly can't remember where he is. Uh, he's a governor, apparently. Oh yeah, I made him a governor because he's... Uh, he gives extra defense armies. So he's he's kind of... He's doing good work. Because he's in charge of the that the Evander Zoon was the planet that was uh, uh, in uproar. So yeah, he's he's actually doing good works. I'm trying to zoom out of somewhere I can't zoom out of. That's quite funny. Oh, excellent! What did that give us? <gasps> oh, that was worth it. Ion disruptors, gravitic sensors, plasma thrusters, combat algorithms, society research. Nice. Don't mind if I do. Sin of the Goat is unemployed. Uh, yes, you were because... Unfortunately, I swapped you out for this person who is much better at the job than you are. So hang on, are you an official? I think you're. A, it's an official, isn't it? Uh, let me have a look. What are you good at? Uh, Empire effects as counselor. Galactic market. I think we've already... No, he's not unemployed. He is, I believe, you are representing us in the uh, Galactic Senate. So you, you are doing you are doing great works in the Galactic Senate because you have the uh, nifty little uh, Galactic Reforms thing. Can you govern a planet while being on the Senate? Goat Palpatine, you pretty much. I am the Senate. Ah, yeah. Um. Let's. I. I don't know. Uh. What can we find for you to do? 
Still give pl <laughs> give planet and go deserve reward. Okay, is anyone is anyone uh I was about to say I'll put you in charge of the urinal. It sounds like an insult, but it's not. Um What have the big biggest Confucius? Uh where are you? Uh Sheep Palpatine. <laughs> There we go. So I could, I only assume you can do both. Ah, no, you can't do both. Right. No, 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 no. Right. So you, you're still doing it's, it's still doing great works. You are you are Emperor Gopatine. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, right. It's five minutes to six. I need a break because brain melting. Right, let's put a save in there. Okay, so I'm gonna grab uh, a drink, uh, probably a cup of tea or something. Go say hi to my dad, because I haven't actually said hello to him yet as he's coming in the front door. Um, have yourselves a stretch, grab yourselves a drink, grab a snack, stuff like that. And uh, I'm gonna take a break, and I'll see you in about 10 minutes or so. So, see you shortly. I'm sorry about that. Had to have a quick chat with my dad. Decaf tea takes forever. Because it's a bit late to have regular tea. So here I am! Oh god, what's Bamboozle done? Goat Palpatine. Oh god, I'll go have a look at this. Here's me sitting here in silence watching this video clip and you can't hear me, it's quite funny. <laughs> oh god. Excellent, terrible, terrible, uh... Um, terrible impressions there. But thank you for that, Bamboozle. Am I a real boss guy? Uh, yeah! Um, I'm quite partial to the... Uh, other supermarkets are available. Um... The Sainsbury's version of it, because it actually tastes uh, more like tea than it does Rui Boss, if that actually makes sense. Most Rui Boss is quite, um, quite flowery and quite herbal, uh, but the Sainsbury's one actually tastes more like tea. Um, so I quite like that one. So yeah, I, I occasionally have that, but yeah. I've gone to the habit of past six o'clock, uh, I switch to decaf, otherwise I have a terrible time re relaxing in the evenings, so uh, yeah. Right, do excuse me while I notch a couple of biscuits. Okay. So we've analysed the debris, that's good. Yeah, it's a uh, caffeine-free uh, tea leaf type thing. I believe it's grown in South Africa. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's super uncommon, Kermify. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, common name is Redbush. Uh, most things do call it Ruibos, uh, and I believe PM Collector Boy spelled it right. But the, the more common term is Redbush tea. So, uh, it is a very, it's a bit like, it's a bit like Earl Grey in that, um, it's a very specific taste. But the, 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 it can be a little bit on the strong side. Okay, we're building uh, defense platforms here. This is good. I'm going to wait until... Oh, actually, to be honest, we could just carry on and just smash this lot. I don't think we've got anything to worry about. I'm going to send the... Actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to remove him from there and put him there. What was it? Ithia? Itha. There we go. And then separate that fleet. Nope, other way around. I can do this. And then we can just send this fleet off to just smash things. And leaving that defended. That works. I dare you to do a cookie monster stream at some point. At least 10 minutes of talking with a mouthful of cookies. No. That would be unpleasant for everyone involved. Um, I'd have to clean my keyboard afterwards. 
I'd probably need a new T-shirt. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna veto that one. <laughs> okay, so good. This is being defended, and they're off. Oh, I forgot to speed the time back up. That's quite funny. Normal speed. There we go. I was like, why is that spaceship taking so long to leave? And uh, I just suddenly realized why. How did caffeine as a... Oh, no! That's a terrible, terrible idea. No, that's very bad. There is there is nothing he healthy about that. Christ. Station engaged. Okay, this will be over fast. And it's mine. Nailed it. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about um, energy drinks and stuff for... Uh... Oh, thank you very much for the follow, Epsilon Actual. Welcome, I hope you're doing very well. Um... Yeah, we were talking about energy drinks and stuff uh, the other day. And it's like, yeah, I just, just don't do that stuff. Because it's bad. It's bad, okay? Right, so now, if we go over here and did the same... Oh, we are, we are getting well into the galactic domination game now. This is great. Well, not really domination, but... A mild ass kicking at the very least. And we've got these guys nicely locked up here. I wonder if they're... Hold on a second. What is the relation... Oh, wait. Well, that's the... So what's this? Hey, Oaken Snuffle! Thank you very much for the hydrate and the stretch and the posture check. In fact, I need to reposition my cushion. You are indeed correct. Cookie Monster Stream, do it, you coward. <laughs> it would be terrible. All you'd hear is like blah 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 blah. I probably spit. I probably spit digestives all over my monitor, and it would just be foul. Oh, hold on. Hold the phone. Holy shit. Okay. Look at the size of the parrot people fleet. Is that 30,000? No. That's... No, that's 300... Wait, maths. What is maths really? That's 300,000. Yes! That's what I thought. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, that's that's the parrot people. That's the watchers. We we don't we don't want that smoke. We do not want that smoke. <laughs> that's yeesh. Let's have a look at these because that's terrifying. Look at them. Look at the array of angry parrots. Oh my word. You can get fleets in the millions. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's have a look at this very one-sided fight that's about to happen here. Look at their construction ships fleeing. The fools! Standard for fallen empires. Yeah, I figured. It's still quite terrifying. Uh, the lock and mechanists and the lock and theocracy. Okay, that, that doesn't bother me. I care not for such trifles. Alright, that's... Uh, did we lose anything? We lost nothing. Oh, this is great. This is glorious. Great and glorious. Uh, right, are we... Uh, yep, we're upgrading here. This is good. This is working. Uh, two different vocal styles with death metal artists. A cookie monster or by the sailor. <laughs> I tell you what, uh, um, one of my favorite kind of, um, God, I've got some of their albums list, uh, actually, I haven't actually listened to their stuff in ages. There's a band called Spine Shank, and their lead singer had the absolute perfect balance between, like, screaming, but he actually, well, not screaming, growling. But it actually had a tone to it. You know what I mean? He actually, he actually kept a tune. 
So even though it was kind of growly, there was still a tune there. And I thought that that sort of hit the pretty good sweet spot for me. That it, it kind of like... He's not going the full death metal growl, but he's kind of like, yeah. Scythe Lord. Toxic Mines. Ooh, okay. Scythe Lord. That sounds like something you get in this game. Hello, I'm a Scythe Lord. Actually, no, that sounds like something from Warhammer 40k, like the Tyranids have. That was a brood lord, close to being a scythe lord. Oh, 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 you are you really? You guys are fighting me? Is this wise? Uh oh wow, they bought their A game. They bought a 2,000 uh 2,000 strong fleet, uh, which I think I'm gonna kick the arse of. I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Hostile fleet uh, the agonist pulls off growls pretty well, their singer nearly perfectly enunciates her growls. Yeah, I think I kind of like. I, I I don't go for the whole like full full scale, attempting to void a lung kind of heavy metal, but I like a little bit of like, you know. Um. Welcome back, Math. Hope you had a good dinner. Uh, let's research this product. What do we What do we got here? Ion plasma subspace. Yeah, we can we can. Nobble the research from here. This is this sounds good to me. Right, can we upgrade the station while I'm at it? Yeah, baby. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, I can say these the, the the parrot people have got 300k over here, or excess of, in excess of 300k. That single fleet could decimate my entire um, my entire gal my entire civilization in not a very short order. Okay, this is great because the Desolators have nowhere to go. I'm okay with this. I haven't finished my biscuits yet. You're finally starting to get the hang of this game. <laughs> I mean, I must be getting close to 50 hours. I wouldn't say I am anywhere close to being an expert, but I think at least I can recognize where I'm fucking up. <laughs> Right, let's get this reinforced, and then we're going to go steal another planet, because it's funny. Uh, actually, I wonder if I can dock here, because uh, we can get repairs and stuff. Though I don't think we actually need an awful lot of repairs. Research complete. Okay, what's happened there? Uh, oh god, they're on about the moats again. Bloody moats! Uh, ooh, we got a deficit there. Laughs at hamster in optimism. Yeah, exactly. Really spam out science so you can keep upgrading your ships endlessly. Yeah, I think, to be honest, they're probably due for another round of... Oh, no, they're not. They're just a little broken. That's fine. I only completed a whole playthrough recently. I consider this good. Yeah. Don't don't worry. It's so like I, I'm I'm remembering stuff because it happened recently. I, I wonder what happened the next time I do a, 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 a I restart. Will I actually remember any of it? That's gonna be the uh, that'll be the question. We'll we'll see. Um. Oh, Senate is now in session. Um. Five year plans. Okay. Uh there was nothing bad about that, was there? Um and we support it. That worries me. The the Rectalaran diplomatic weight worries me. That's that's a bit spoopy. I'm sure it'll be fine. Five year plans is bad for slavers, which is what the Jackly are, that's a good point. You'll have us to remind you. Yeah, there is that about it. That's a good point. That is a fair point. Okay. Don't want to get too greedy. So I want to actually, like, get this Research get this complete. station fixed a little bit first. Oh, hang on. I've got research and everything kicking off. Um... Society and physics. Oh, hello. Right. Um. Right. What we got? Research alternatives. Self-evolving logic. Research alternatives plus one. <coughs> uh, no idea. Uh, disruptors. 
Quantum Neurolinks, Specialist Pop Resource Output. Interesting. Gravitic sensors and listening post. We've already got a, we've already got a leg up on that tech. Um, so listening post, sensor range, hyperlane detection range. Don't be Stalin. Oh god, that's good advice. Don't be Stalin. That's that, that, that is good life advice. Okay, and gravitic sensors. Uh, okay, shield hardener. Uh, fields generated by our shield emitters will partially deflect attacks that would otherwise bypass the shields. Uh, that sounds fun. That'll take... Oh, hover of the A. Shield hardening, 15%. Oh yeah, okay, that actually tells you what's doing then. Uh, new technology options you roll after each time you complete one. Ah, okay. Mm, X-ray lasers. Um, that's gonna take sixty-nine months. Hey, sixty-nine, perfect number. Anti disruptors, which I'm not sure anyone uses. Okay. Well, I mean, we've we've got a leg up on this graphic sensors thing. But then, this also opens up. A field in energy weapons but it's gonna take 69 months i'm gonna go with this one because we've got a leg up on that one okay so instead of hanging four you have a choice of five okay so that's that's actually a pretty good that's that's a good option too um that's still gonna take 109 months so maybe i'm not gonna worry about that one um unlocks uh Soil remediation unlocks quicksand. Okay. Uh, I mean, this is really short. That's like 12 months. I should do that one. That's not a bad shout. Okay. Uh, right, we're going to run out of moats again. Uh, can I afford to buy some? Probably. Uh, specialist resource output might help fix your special resource issues. Ah! Hmm. Hold on, then. Uh, was it physics? No. Was it this one? Ah. Specialist, uh, pop research resource output. Oh, so that's all the stuff like uh, moats, gases, crystals, uh, necron shite, and stuff like that, yeah? Yeah, that's really good. The fact the research doesn't reset is actually really good. Uh, yeah, that, do you know what? That's not actually a bad shout. Let's do that. Okay, do you know what? I think this station is probably safe, so I'm just going to yeet this in that direction uh also the only oh okay the only thing we have to worry about is the watchers here well i mean any to be honest any resource boost is is not uh probably not a bad shout is it right we could sell okay I'm going to do a short-term thing for energy credits, to be honest, because we've got plenty of this. Let's do... That works, and maybe... There we go. That's made that a bit healthy. That I'm sure we can fix. Uh, but just in the short term. Star trucking across the universe. Let's not get copyright struck, even though I'm not actually that good a singer. Uh, can we activate this? Do we want to activate this? 12,000... Wait, 12,000 alloys. 24,000 minerals. We could actually do that. We come in peace. Strip to kill, strip to kill. Scotty beat me up. <laughs> oh, don't... I... How could I remember most of that song? That's terrible. It will take a shit ton of minerals, but we're not like we're lacking in them. 
fuck it. We could always buy some more. I could always balance that back to minerals, actually. We could, I don't know, uh, not 22, buy 5,000? There you go. That's balanced it up a little bit. Bless you, whoever showed me the galactic market. You remember that song you may be entitled to compensation? <laughs> I'm not that old! I'm only in the mid 40s. Compensation engaged. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Now you see, what's that from? I don't get that reference. That's a reference I don't get. Which I'm not afraid to say I don't get. South Park. I have not watched enough South Park to uh, um, jump on that. Right, do you know what we could do with? We could do with a construction ship uh, where this wormhole is. Because I'm sure... We have got a sleepy one. Several sleepy ones. Um, Because we could start building mining shit and stuff because one of these planets had a load of really good shit on it. Okay, let's head there. I can send you a walking stick. <laughs> Thank you. That's very kind. Yeah, it was really funny, actually, when we were playing uh, one of the early uh, Chaos Collabs on a Tuesday. Um, there, there was a funny moment where I can't remember what the conversation was. And it was kind of like I said something and everyone, everyone was like, what? And I'm like, wait, you guys don't remember X, Y, Z? And then I was kind of like, oh, OK, <laughs> I'm the oldest one here. Never mind. So, you know, that's always funny. Right, we have a station. That's good. Uh, did I not tell this guy to move? I didn't tell this guy to move. Okay. Uh, let's go after their planet. That sounds like a good plan. Oh my god, XYZ. Almost forgot. Yeah. Uh, right, is he not doing anything right now? No, he isn't. Okay, that's fine. In fact, we could... Well, actually, what the smart thing would be to do is destroy everything here. I probably should have checked the military strength. Oh, nothing. Not a problem. Hostile fleet Not engaged. a problem. Yep. Nope. That's fine. That's a transport fleet. That literally can't do anything, and he's got nowhere to run. So that system is now mine. Excellent. Uh, except it's not, because I got invaded. Right. Now, luckily... I have an invasion fleet. <laughs> right, what does their uh what does their uh colony strength look like? Probably not great. Hey Major Mozza, how's it going? There's a cartoon I used to watch as a kid. I never saw anything again, so I think I just made the whole thing up in my head. Which cartoon would that be? They've even got 341. That's that's an easy one. Cause uh, for me, I had someone keep talking about Jason the Wheeled Warriors, and I'm like, I have never watched Jason the Wheeled Warriors. And I'm like, you've never watched Jason the Wheeled Warriors? And I'm like, no. And it's like everyone else remembers that, and I don't. It's it's kind of strange. You're not the only one here. The oldest one here, hamster. That is a good point, Chaplain Backers. I know, as far as chat goes, I am probably not. Not the oldest, but uh, it, it was the case in the uh, in the Chaos Collab. But uh, welcome, Tablet Backers. I hope you're doing well. Oh dear, we've been exposed. The Zulu Kako have noticed us. Oh, oh dear. Right, I need to divert my attention briefly over to this this situation here, where I've accidentally revealed myself to the uh, Zulu Kako. Oh dear. Hello. Oh, we have to do, uh, we have to do, like, the whole, uh, first contact. It's another militarist species! Okay. I, I, I have a funny feeling. So, are they all militarist because I'm militarist? Or is that just an easy pick for your first, your first thing? They're not xenophobes, though. I think this is the lucky thing. 
Uh... Okay, Major Moza, you're going to kick yourself because if it's the thing I'm thinking of, it's literally called Trapdoor. Was the guy called Burke and he was a big, big round blue thing? And and the thing, the thing upstairs, it was like, Burke, get me my dinner. That was Trapdoor. And it was all claymation. Pretty sure that was Trapdoor. There you go. Okay, so they are xenophobes. They are xenophobes. Sorry, but math. I thought that's. I thought you were kidding. They're actually xenophobes. That's really funny. Uh, militarist xenophobes. Great. Materialists xenophobes. Oh, okay. Is that where calling people a Burke came from? Um, no. That's a very old. That's actually quite an old uh, word. I forget what it stands for. Uh, the game likes to pick similar sieves to yours at the start and also the exact opposite. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was a clay it was a claymation thing. So they're xenophobes. So I'm gonna say greetings friends anyway, just for a laugh, because it always throws them off. Right, so what do we do here? You have the attention of the Zulu Kakao Society, alien. Uh, could we? So who? Wait, hang on. What's what's the empire symbol for these guys? Uh, rocket ship? Or is that what it looks like? Oh wait, they won't be here. Any won't be on here yet, will they? They'll be at the bottom. Oh, they are on here. Okay. So they're gonna hate us. But I mean. We could declare war on them and just take the uh, take the planet from them. Actually, no, wait, can we do that? I think my, my ethics stopped me doing that. I knew someone at college called Burke. I think it was my tutor. <laughs> uh, yes, that is that is it, Bamboozle. Yes, it's 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 the polite way of saying that. That's a good point. A xenophile is just a lady that wants to have your space babies. Nah, these are xenophobes. So now I have, I have. A colony of xenophobes basically sat on my uh, doorstep. So I could actually declare war on these guys and steal their planet from them. Um, I think. They have a garrison of 120. I could just take the planet from them. Although I don't think I can. Or maybe I can. I'm not sure. British slang for a stupid person. Fool. Yep, there you go. I wonder if I can declare war on them. No, I can't. Okay. Hmm. Well, we could just try to improve relations, I guess. Or just ignore them. Current progress to the Oh god, they're gonna be uh they're gonna be spacefaring pretty soon. Ah shit. Um Where's my other invasion fleet? I'm sure I had one. Uh, do, 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 do. Where is my other transport fleet? Oh, it's there. Okay, how fast can you get over here? Pretty quick, as it turns out. It's just just preemptive. Don't worry. It's just just a preemptive thing. <laughs> um. Right, yes, okay, I've got to fix the situation with these bloody moats again. Uh, why am I losing energy credits? Uh, okay, wait, I need to construct stuff. Hang on. Entomology is fascinating. Yeah, it's very true. Right, have I got my... Okay, so if I put him to automatic construction, he'd be doing stuff. Right, okay. That might help. Okay, right, where are you going? Wait, actually, what state is this place in? Have we actually rebuilt the station yet? No, we haven't rebuilt the station yet. Okay. Do, 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 do. I want to steal your technology. Except I imagine your technology is worse than mine. Right, okay. Um... 
Is this is this because I've just taken over a bunch of systems with a bunch of starships? Uh space pods. Is that what's happening here? Hmm. Yeah, I think that's the different that's the different spelling, isn't it? Yeah, if you look if you look at the difference between uh the way uh, Bamboozle spelled it, and the way you guys are spelling it, it's it's two different things. <laughs> You've been burped. That's quite funny. Um, okay. Uh, we could sell some stuff, couldn't we? Because we're making an excess in food right now. I wonder if we can sell some food. Um Right, this is is this per month? This is per month. If I said I don't know. 40 food per month. Or I could just up my energy energy thing. I don't know if that's gonna help any at all. Then everyone starves. I don't know. We'll figure that out in a minute. Research complete. Oh, research complete. Oh, and we've got messages. You have messages. Oh, critical resource shortage. Oh, okay, that still doesn't help the moat situation. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, we are out of moats. There is... Oh, I've just realised... I've just realised why our energy credits have, have gone. Because... The... Mega structures. No, wait. Oh, my brain is failing. Uh, wait. Have I got? Have I got some power stations that are running off moats? This would explain why I'm running out of moats. I think I need to downgrade those. Yeah, I need. To, I need to find out where those are, and I need to get downgrade them. Because it's, 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 that's fucking me up. Okay. Let's have a look, see. So is it the, is it the... Oh no, that's an upgradable generator. This doesn't have mo well actually we might as well upgrade the generator. Right, hang on a second. Uh, da -da 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 -da. You've got space mail, I know. No, the precinct is... Oh no, you're right! What the hell? Why do the Haulers of Judgment use moats? That's... I did not realise it. That is exactly the problem. Shit! Right, we need to downgrade those, don't we? Because I think I've built a ton of those. Right, so if I downgrade it, let's 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 experiment here. Yep, yeah, that was it. And then I need to upgrade the generator. Okay, we found the problem. Uh, police needs boom. Yeah, nobody needs drudge dredge. Just body five will do. You have zero crime. Just demolish it. I'll downgrade it, because if memory serves, we get a bonus for having these. I'm sure we got a bonus. There's something to do with with something. It makes it better. I can't remember. How are your edicts? Uh, I think our edicts are okay. Uh, I'm not going to look just yet, because I'm going to fix this first. This unit has been authorised to be loyal as a puppy. Oh god, was that Robocop 3? I think that was Robocop 3. That was not my... Uh... Robocop 2 was okay. Um... Robocop 3, not so much. And we don't talk about the series. Um, because we don't. 
Uh, all right, cats, another one. And no, that's good. That's precinct houses. That's not upgraded. Repertor Cop Two was epic. Kane. Yeah, there was a there was a cartoon series. There was, believe it or not, a Saturday afternoon Robocop live action series. But because it was broadcast at tea time or lunchtime, he couldn't shoot anybody. Um, he would literally have to shoot a cupboard or something to make something fall on the bad guys. So they they would um get defeated. So it was hilarious. He'd be in a he'd be in an alleyway somewhere, right? And suddenly, for no discernible reason, there's like a Victorian cupboard or a Victorian wardrobe in the alley. And he shoots the legs off the Victorian wardrobe and the wardrobe falls on the guy. And I'm like, why is there a Victorian wardrobe in the alley? <laughs> so yeah, whoever thought that was a good idea is it it it, it wasn't. <laughs> It was very strange. It never happened. It was just a just a, a, a fever dream I had. Yeah, yeah. Den denial ain't a river in Egypt. No. Oh wow, this this place I have done nothing with. We need to come back to that at some point. Oh god, have we have we got have we got back round to colony management already? Bloody hellfire. I'm too busy having a war. Yes, that is true. Yes, the, the A team was very guilty of that as well, which was always quite funny. Yeah, they'd shoot like, you know, five AKs at somebody and everyone would just trip over. That was that was that was that was definitely one of the earliest examples, I think. Oh wow, I built two here. Dear God, I did not know what I was doing. Right. Okay. Let's see if that unfucks things. No, wait. Hang on. We've got other stuff going on. Uh, minor artifacts. Can't do much with the minor artifacts right now. Uh, timed project. Yes, I know there's a shortage. I know. I'm working on it. Uh, oh, invest in moke production. Oh. I didn't even know that was an option. Look, it's the panicked hedgehog again. He's my favourite. He's my favourite. He turns up when there's a nuke about to happen as well. It's great. Uh, rules of engagement. 5% accuracy is a good day. Yeah, exactly. Police Academy series of There was a Police Academy cartoon? Hey, Chapa, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Um... Yeah, that's... Well, I, if memory serves, didn't uh, all the G.I. Joe stuff... It, hilariously, in the UK, they got called Action Force. Um... Because reasons. Um... And they... They they fired lasers all the time. They, they, they didn't actually shoot bullets. It was quite funny. Okay, what do we got here? Flak cannons. Point defense. Um. Yeah, Airwolf got away with it because it was literally you just saw the plane blowing up. Um, it wasn't it wasn't really a bad uh, wasn't really too bad a deal. You've got thrusters down at the bottom. Plasma thrusters. Wait, what? Oh yeah. 83 months. So I'll give that one a go, I guess. I think we swapped that for something earlier on. I don't know what. Right, what's the message? Uh, the Reavers declared war on the Invandarian Exterminators. Oh, poop. Oh, Poopington. Poopington McSmoopington. I haven't built any more ships, have I? Fuck! Because uh, what's going to happen is... These guys are going to murder the exterminators and then they're going to declare war on us and we are not going to be able to stop them. Uh, so I'm going to preemptively start deploying some shit over here. 
because uh, they're probably going to come straight through their territory. So, eep. Uh, more. More more things. Yeah, Galactic War incoming, yeah. Yeah, Airwolf was 80% stock footage, it's very true. Clone Wars were well they were clones. Clones are e clones are easy to replace. You just just build you just make more. Okay, oh god, we have much colony management to do, but I don't think I can face that right now. Right, we need to finish off this war over here before the other war starts. <laughs> I need I need to get my get my priorities right. Okay, uh is this defending itself yet? Ah, screw it. We're, we're gonna we're gonna have to go with rapid expansion. I ain't got time. Why, why did you come over here? Oh, you're nicking the, uh, nicking the stuff there. Uh, wait, wait, where? That's not here. Wait, what? I know, I'm trying to fix the moat thing. I haven't, I still haven't fixed the goddamn, why is the energy thing not gone back up? Ugh, crap. I'm gonna have to buy some of those. Right, hold on. I'm gonna have to buy some bloody moats to stave that off. I am busy. I'm busy, goddammit! Um... I just gotta cut my energy credits in half, but at least I'll get me a thousand. Right, be happy, you have moats, for fuck's sake. Right. Uh, Commander gains trait. Following his recent sensor sweep of the Tiffim system, Commander Itha, son of Utin, has learned how to deploy his units to maximize their sensor range. Few fleet commanders... Oh, okay, cool. Is that this guy? That's this guy. Nice. Nice, nice. One of the clones turned into a zombie. I think they had some weird... Invasion begun. Didn't they... Oh. Okay, planetary invasion. That's important. Uh, This is... This is going to be very one-sided. <laughs> Council agenda available. Oh, oh god, it's all beeping and booping at me again. Uh oh, okay. The uh the Zulakako, Shulakako, they are now spaceborn. They are not a problem. Uh Thanks to the skill of our envoys, we've managed to gain a favor from the Rekthaler and Fire Tribes. They fucking hate us, but I I'm good with this. Yeah, ah! Ah, too many pop-ups! Oh, my Jesus! Uh. Yeah, well, that's that's the thing. It's like, the, the Old Republic was basically... And in fact, the Jedi, to a certain extent, were very hypocritical. They, they were a bunch of hypocrites. It is, it is very true. Or they were written to like a bunch of hypocrites. Whether they were meant to be not, I don't know. Okay. Hello again. We're now feeling ready to explore the cosmos and desert. We can't help taking note of a very permanent looking star base. Uh, how about no? Because that star base is probably quite chunk. I've got so many things happening at the same time. This is just nuts. Um... The Hamsterian Conclave becomes the new owner of Explorix 1. Stellar Culture Shock modifier added for 10 years. We can bloodlessly take the system. How's that? <laughs> I'm a terrible person. I've become a tyrant. Uh, right, why is our energy not fixing itself? I'm... I'm very confused. Why is our energy not fixing itself? Yeah, we'll just take it. That's mine now. Enemy planet secured. Okay. Right. Hold the hold the phone. Right, so this is 
this place, which we just invaded. Right, cool. That is now mine. Uh, let's... Alright, cool beans. Okay. Favor... I don't know how the hell we got a favor with the fire tribes, because they absolutely hate us. Armies being active instead of on the fence. Uh, maybe. Yeah, why do they... Why are they... That's bizarre. Right, okay, so Uxblorix is going to be... Wait, do we basically just wipe out... Hold on. Fucking hellfire. Right. So we just strong-armed this planet out of their hands, didn't we? No, that's Aculum. Uh, Uxblorix. Here we go. Right, so we just stole that, uh, we just stole that colony. Oh yeah, am, am I honestly trying to improve relations with them? I must be, that's kind of funny. Oh yes, he does. Yeah, it's like a 1% chance or something. Yeah. Okay, the really funny thing about this is, is that the... Is this the Zula... Is this the Zulukako? No, it's the Saiban High Kingdom. Okay. Did I... Did I steal this planet before they had a chance to take... To, to actually... We just absorbed their planet into the Empire. That's what just happened, didn't it? Right, okay. That's quite funny. Yoink? Yeah, definitely. Uh, right, yes, planetary capital, sounds good. Um, probably want to sort out the crime? I imagine there's probably going to be a lot of crime soon. Uh, right, I'll tell you what, how about a generator district? Because, uh, awesome generators, awesome city districts, and, oh god. Uh, right, okay, energy, energy, energy... Uh, resource silos... Oh, hey, we can actually generate crystals. I forgot about that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Ah, there we go. Energy grid. And energy generator districts? Yeah, why not? I don't know. Food? Things? Stuff? Uh, features? Uh, can only get rid of some of those. Oh, I'm spending, I'm spending energy. What? Oh my god, this place is a mess. Hey, Dirtzerg, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we hate you, but we owe you one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, this, this planet's a bit of a mess. Just build generator districts. Yeah, that's probably not a bad shout, actually. Oh, this has so many blockers. Holy crap. That's got a lot of blockers. So... What happens... Okay, hang on a minute. I got a... Before, before we carry on with the war, I gotta figure out... Right. Are these just not upgraded yet? Is this in the process of upgrading? Okay, the upgrades to turn them into energy nexuses take forever. Ever. Okay, this is fine. Um, I'm gonna sell some food and some consumer goods just to top up my energy credits, just in case I fail to notice. Now the other thing is, uh, I need to start building ships over here. Head cannon. actually, the reason they owe you a favour is because you're blackmailing someone high up. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Slum hamster millionaire. Nice. Um, we've got to build some more ships down here because these guys are going to crush the uh, exterminators and then they're coming after us. This is, this is known. Uh, typically the one place I haven't got a shipyard. Brilliant. I'm sure I've got other shipyards around. 
There's probably one here. There's not a shipyard there. There must be a shipyard down here somewhere. Surely. I was building shipyards all over the bloody place. Really? Are you cereal? I'm sure I had a shipyard here somewhere. To be a standard British landlord. <laughs> Oof. Oof. This has got to be one, surely. No, I didn't build a single fucking... Okay. God damn. I think there's one back here, but I want one nearer the front, because if... It, that could be bad otherwise. Is there one here? Oh, finally. I knew I had one somewhere. Jesus Christ. Right. Uh, right, not going to run out of candy this time. Right, that might help. That, wasn't, I, wasn't I already building one somewhere? Uh, this might be one as well. Uh, uh nope. That's... I built the seventh star order. I think that one's new. Either that or I accidentally moved it before it was ready. Probably more likely. Yeah, the game soundtrack is really good. Yeah. There is uh, n no argument to that one. The game soundtrack is pretty good. Right, I'm trying to think of possible invasion vectors here. That's one. Ooh, yeah, this could get spicy. Right, if we are quick, we need to deal with the... Okay, the moat shortage is, is handled. That's good. Um, Let's get back to the war. Because we need to, we now need to wipe these guys out as fast as possible because I, I don't want to be dealing with a war on two fronts here. Even though it's, not, it's less of a war and more of an ass kicking, but you know. Okay, that's ours. Uh, yeah, defences. Defences are good. Actually, I don't think I need to go over the top in defences over here, because I don't think they've actually got that much left. Uh, right, uh, did I actually build anything here? I can't remember. I did. Look at that. Uh, devastation was only 5%. That's fine. Crime boss arrested. Will expire in four years. Nice. If nothing else, they arrested the crime boss for me. Yeah, we're, 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 we're definitely heading in that direction. Okay, they've only got one. That's their planetary capital. Okay, so let's... What if we just went for the capital? I think we're just going to go for the capital. Oh, we can't. Because uh, we have to go through here first. Okay, fine. Let's do that. That's not a problem. But I think our backup fleet could actually start taking out these guys too. Debris analyzed. Okay, right now lots of things are happening. Oh my god! Inheriting their stations, I just delete the stations or delete them the second the war ends. Oh, that's it! It's the upkeep! Yes! Yes, it's the station upkeep, isn't it? Yep, that's probably got something to do with it. That's probably got something to do with it. Because, yeah, well, the trouble is, though, this this could be another front at some point fairly soon. But, yeah, I probably, like, anything other than the forward bases, I should probably destroy. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Probably costing me a shit ton. 175% upkeep. Yeah, that's, that's not great. Yeah, that could be it. That could well be it. Okay, so what do we reckon? Do I... Wait, hang on. So, let's let's have a look at the ones further back here. So... That's an outpost. That's... We probably don't need that one there. If we... If we fortify these two... Uh, that's the only two points of... Well, actually, no, we fortify this... Oh, no, these two. If we have something here, that's the two points of entry here. 
But if we demolished that one, that one, and that one, that might get us some stuff. Even though I just spent a, a bunch of stuff. I can't dismantle it. Oh, cannot dismantle star bases while at war. There you go. So we'll have to wait till the war's over, which theoretically shouldn't be very long. Research right, hang on, I've got a bunch of bloody notifications now. Jesus Christ. Right, favor gained. It won't help. Uh, council agenda available. Uh, okay, no, that, that just seems to be still going. I don't know. No, let's not worry about that. Okay. Invasion over? Yeah, we know about that one. Uh, oh great, the Rekthala and Fire Tribes are now rivals with the Jackly Consciousness. Which is great. Uh, next, debris analyzed. Okay, cool. Uh, tech researched. All right, new research. Uh, embassy complex. Uh, uh, unity and something amenities. Interesting. Uh, tile blocking, tile blocking, colonial bureaucracy. Hmm, covert operations path. Edicts fund plus 20. Hmm, we were having trouble with our Edicts Fund. I'm half tempted to go for that one. Or we could go for the really cheap tile blocker ones, which won't take very long. Bet whether Hamster gets to the end game or not. I don't know. I think it's I think I'm gonna get attacked by the bird people. I think I'm gonna get attacked by the bird people. And then I'm gonna get crushed. I I have a feeling. Uh, right, have we taken... Uh, right, we just took that one. Uh, he's on his way. Makes it to the crisis. Yeah, good question. Rising unemployment on Bosnakal colony. Yes, that's the one I literally just took over. No surprise there. Um... Because it's a raging mess. Uh, let's upgrade the generator thing, because that's good. Planetary? Yeah, good. Um, 14 unemployment. Seven unemployed robots. That's quite funny. Don't mention the crisis. Yeah, I, I, I vaguely know about the crises. Crisis? Crises? Plural? Uh, right, how well defended is this place? Not very. What Hostile about your station engaged. ground armies? Crap. Yeah, we can crush these guys. Crushing time! This planet is mine. Or this colony is mine. Yep, here we go. Here we go. Right, where's my other fleet gone? Oh, he's just, he's just taking a long time about it. There we go. All right, who's yelling at me? The Jackley Consciousness has now declared the Rekthalo and Fire Tribes their rivals. Of course they bloody have. They're nice and comfortable here, and I'm in the bloody way. This is this is great. Take Ajum and Jasmak before I take the homeworld. Oh, okay. I think. Yep, there we go. Okay, we'll do it about face. Crush the piggy people! See them driven before us and hear the lamentation of the women. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I see what you mean. We just reinforce we just reinforce that point. Because there's no way in over here. I see. Uh critical Oh the fucking moats are uh, the bloody moats are gone again. Uh it whatever. Oh, hang on. Uh, time project. Debris, antimatter missiles, antimatter reactor. Show me. Uh, do I have a spare science vessel? I should do. There's one right there. Now then, make them grovel at your feet. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, uh, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yep, I got you. Space oh, what's out here? Low stability. Explorix. Yeah, again, no surprise. I literally just took it over. So it's an absolute fucking state. I am building things, though. 
Right, energy grid, precinct houses, and what else should I put here? Commercial zones? Civil industries? Uh, admin? I don't know. What makes the most jobs? Uh, I think three is probably the highest. Farmer jobs. There are no farming districts. <laughs> because it's an arid world, that's why. Nice zig for great justice. Uh, I'm already building a, 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 a thing. Oh, that's the meme. That's the very ancient meme, isn't it? Yes. Moveal zig. Yes, I remember. Um. Oh, crap. What do I build here? Luxury residences? That'll make them happy. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Uh, thank you for the stretch, Kozov. I, I don't know at the moment. Right, let me... Uh, uh, <laughs> thank you for the stretch. I haven't finished my tea yet. That's terrible. <sighs> the old god memes are eternal. Indeed. Oh, uh, the election. Uh, can we swing the election? We could. We're obviously going to vote for Dr. Oppenhamster, because he is the best at everything. Naturally. Not that we're a corrupt society or anything. Right, uh, where's my war? Right, it's over here. Is it cold? <laughs> Hostile station engaged. I probably should have checked what the rating was, but it's not going to matter. Come on, I need to fix my empire. Come on, get it over with. Oh, it's paused. I'm like, hurry up, ships! It's like, it's paused. I, I, I forgot to unpause it. All right, nailed it. Uh, okay, honestly, by the time you guys get here, I think we can go over here and deal with that. So, you know. Uh, you know, I only just noticed the other day they have zero wing on Switch. Oh, okay. Is that is that is that the game that's all full of the memes? Zero zero wing, is that what it was? Ah, uh, okay. Hostile station engaged. Main screen turn on. Yeah. Alright, again. Well, we took that one before I could even click on it. The Great Wheel 2. Uh, we have not only succeeded in terraforming Tikkim 3, which I didn't even notice, but we've done something even better. A perfect home for the hamsters. Hey! This planet which should be known as the Great Wheel 2. Habitability plus 20%, immigration pool plus 50. Uh, second home... Oh, it's the same, isn't it? Yes, the Great Wheel 2. Why not? Lovely. Right, that's that dealt with. For great justice! It's not going to be justice. One just renames the planet. Ah, gotcha. The collection of memes. Yeah, it was a, that was a massive collection of memes, yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, we can actually colonize this place now. Despite the fact, you know, we've got... Oh, uh, God. Okay, uh, anyone could colonize... Look at the amount of species we have access to now. That's hilarious. Um... Wait, I've got humans? Where have I got humans from? I've got a human population from somewhere. I'm gonna have to look at my galaxy species in a second. Right, uh... I mean, we're gonna do it with... with... hamsters, because of course we are. Migration, probably. I don't think we have a migration treaty with them. We do have a migration tri treaty with someone near them, though. Uh, okay, what are we going to call this? Uh, what was it called? Tikim, Tikim something. Oh, no, it's called the Great Wheel 2. Oh, that's the name of the star. Oh, I'm so confused. Entire sway the system, so only one you have to do. Yeah. Um... I don't know. Someone come up with a colony name. My brain is melting. 
My brain is melting. The Great Wheelie? Good enough. I'll take it. Uh, right. Second home and full quality minerals. The cheese melt. <laughs> and any of those. I'll take any of those. Right. It is the final crushing of the... Whoop. Eventually. It's about to be the final crushing of the pig people. Oh, I need my invasion fleet, actually. We have backed them into a corner. Alright, let's get my invasion fleet here. Hopefully we're not going to run out... Complete. We're not going to run out of energy credits before uh, we get there. That would be embarrassing. Uh, Yeah, we need to demolish a bunch of these things and then just reinforce... Debris analyzed. There's two points we need to reinforce here. One is there, and one is there. And the rest of it we can just demolish. We think. Go on. Go get him. Go get him. Oh, it's going to take 70 days. Jesus Christ. Spaceborn life form encountered. Yeah, we don't worry about the spaceborn life form. Uh. It's fine, the moat's going in reverse. Everything is fine. Oh, here we go. So we 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 witness the end of the Wasarian Desolators, who had the misfortune of fucking around and indeed finding out. Handled. I thought it was my game that said Spaceborn Lifeform. I, it does this a lot, and then I can't figure out where it's from. It's quite funny. Uh, right. Uh, Cybrex Invasion Fleet. Go. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Because, well, actually, I need to see what their defenses are. I bet they can't be very good. 228. Yeah, no problem. Uh, also, there's a bunch of free tech we can hoover up there. Um, right, uh, go there, Re yeah, research projects and system, there we go. The fifth wheel, hire a human governor and form it, and then name it Taylor Parks. Fifth wheel trailer parks. <laughs> yeah, it's just the space whales, that's true. Uh, wait, is this, oh no, that's, we're rebuilding the starbase, okay. Okay, and then what we're going to have to do, after reinforcing that, we are going to have to run back over here, because I imagine while I haven't been looking... Okay, interesting. The Exterminators have not... Sorry, the Reavers have not demolished the Exterminators. I am perplexed. Because they were so quick in, in demolishing them earlier. We'll have to check up on that in a sec. They were so quick at getting rid of them last time. I'm wondering what's going on. Right, this should be pretty damn one-sided as well. Here come uh, migration treaty proposal. Oh, that's nothing to do with us. A rising unemployment on Explorix. I know, I'm doing my best. I'm at war, leave me alone. Right, how quick is this going to be? All right, here we go. Planetary invasion begun. Enemy planet secured. About six seconds. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think I can get to all the systems. Oh, you might be right, actually. The Star Nation, formerly known as the Wasarian Desolators, has been destroyed by its enemies. How this will affect the political climate of the galaxy remains to be seen. It'll probably do fuck all, uh, to be brutally honest, but, you know. Uh, we only destroyed 4% of the planet while we're at it, so that's not bad going. Um, yeah, they need to build more shit, Jesus Christ. More shit needs to be built. My first annexation, how cute. <laughs> they have a moat mine? Oh, fuck me, they have. Look at that. That's handy. Right, okay, right. So what i got to do now... Uh, reinf... Well, actually, 
Yes. Right. Yes. Sandwich. Uh, we gotta reinforce the fuck out of this bit. Uh, double check what the other entry point looks like, which I think was over here. 9,000. Respectable. Could be better. And then just all the stations and stuff we've made here is just demolish them. Because we only have to hold this point and this point, and that one's got the wormhole on it. In fact, what I'm going to do is uh, fucking leg it over there. Um, because I have a funny feeling we'll be needed before too long. Uh, yeah, okay, right, so. So this is... This is only an outpost. The thing is, if we dismantle the outpost, we lose the hold in the system. That's the problem. I can't downgrade that any further than an outpost. So if I destroy the outpost, I lose the system. So... Yeah. However, these ones in the middle here, I could probably downgrade. Can I downgrade them? Yeah, here we go. Starport. Downgrade that to an outpost. Yeah, there we go. We can still have the still has the defenses. That's good. Yeah, that didn't actually do that much harm, actually. Right. Uh Wistrel. That can be downgraded. There we go. We can't put any modules in there, but that's not a big deal. I might put a couple of platforms on there for giggles. Um, Tiffim. That. Nope, that's an outpost. Okay. Uh, Aculum. That's a, is that a colony? That's an actual colony. So, though having said that, again, that's a star base, which we're not going to need there, I don't think. So, let's downgrade that one. Should we downgrade this one, even though it's a star base? Platforms do cost upkeep. Yeah, I, I imagine. Oh, let's downgrade that one. Only one star base in there. Yeah. This number's not going down. Oh, 24 upgraded star bases. Oh, wait a minute. I, that number's not going down. I think it's only upgraded star bases. Oh, you have to. You're right. There you go. Yep. I was paused. You were correct. Ha ha ha! Right, this one stays because this is going to be a, a... But this could do with more defences. Jesus Christ. Um, These could do with being star holds because these are the two... Oh, wait. Do we think the bird people are actually going to bother? Because trouble is there's a wormhole there. I don't want to leave that actually undefended. Uh, that's an outpost. Uh, 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 harp, harp, harp. Uh, that's an outpost. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, that is a very valid point because they have 300. Th that's a good point. That will do nothing. Uh, I forget how useless that is. Fair. Fair, fair, fair. Having shipyards there, the ships can travel through the wormhole. Yeah, that is the thing. It does have two shipyards. I don't know why it has two shipyards. It's the fact that it's got a wormhole there is what worries me. Because, yeah. I will leave that one. Right, okay. Uh, so. Um, is this... What is this? This is just an outpost, isn't it? Yeah, that's just an outpost. Wait, hang on a minute. I've got all them... I've got them listed here, look. Right. Uh... 
Oh, this is baking my noodle. Right, we're still six over. I'm sure we could downgrade stuff that's in the middle of the empire. Every station have one or two shipyards. Yeah, the thing is, though, you don't really need um, shipyards, like, in the middle. But the thing is, we've got a gateway and a wormhole, so actually having having construction in the middle is not that bad. That said, this here doesn't actually have any invasion points near it, so that could probably go. Because I think I just went crazy with that. A bigger pawn, you'll do what with your noodle? <laughs> Bake my noodle. My noodle baked. Bakey, bakey noodle time, fish. Help. Send help. Uh, okay. Uh, so I reckon we could downgrade this one. Because this isn't really a hotspot right now. What I should probably do is build a station over here. So that I should reinforce this just in case the Jackly fuck with me, but I don't think they will. So this is very much in the back lines. So I think we could downgrade that one. This is where I end up with no shipyards. Uh, right. Runa is right next to the Great Wheel. That's an outpost. That's fine. Where does it leave us? 29. We're getting there. Was a system called tra Tree Bollocks. It was called Tray Bollocks. Yes, as in Mucho Bollocks. Yeah. That was a new one for me, but ever floats your boat. <laughs> you, you never heard the expression? It's not an English expression or a European expression. I think it's an Americanism. When you say, oh, my noodle is... That's really baked my noodle. That's like... That's from... I heard that from The Matrix. It's when the Oracle is talking to Neo about uh, predeterminism and stuff. Anyway, yeah. Because <laughs> I was just like, what? Fair. Um, I bet you the Jackie won't federate with us. I bet you they won't. No, because we're at minus 14, and I haven't got the materials to fucking bribe the bastards. Uh, actually, yeah, we're... Uh, mm, having said that... Should we give them some more gas? It is better. It is true, it is better now. So I guess I have to get this to plus... Do I have envoys? Oh, I've got a spare one, apparently. No, I don't, because I'm a moron. I forgot. Uh, we could give them some more gas. That still hasn't fixed itself yet. Bloody Elfire. Right, what can I give them? Uh, uh, information. That's not going to go much. Communications? I, I think we've already given them that anyway, haven't we? How you saw the spy networks are currently running? That's a good question. Uh... Busy improving relations with the Rekthala and Fire Tribes. That might be a lost that might be a lost cause. I think that's a lost cause. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, probably we should give up on that. Uh yeah, I was I was messing around oh, oh god. That's an agreement I've got. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, he could... He could... Uh, do I just right-click it? Hmm. Oh, unassign. Here they go. Uh, exactly consciousness. Uh, yeah, who is this? Oh, the Reavers. Why am I improving things with the Reavers? That's a terrible idea. This is before I quite I I didn't quite understand. Oh, that's a spy network. Okay. That those are actually spies. And somebody's already spying on the so we're spying on the Reavers. 
Uh, and we're spying on the Rekthalorans. No, we don't. We're spying on the Exterminators, which are probably about to die. Yeah, we should not worry about that, actually. Start a sleeper cell in the whatever so you don't lose intel. Yeah, we're, all, we're already spying on them. Uh, that's fine. We're going to pickle that up. Have them start a sleeper cell. Is that a thing you can do? All I've got is gather information. That's all I've got. I probably forgot to launch it. I think I forgot to launch it. Uh, anyway, what we have done is rather successfully nobbled this. But what I feel like probably might be an idea is to get... All oh, I'm already telling them to go home. That's good. Uh, yeah, I need to get these guys back over here because I think... I don't know. These guys are holding out longer than I thought they would. Because I don't think there's much too scary over here. Um, and that's an invasion fleet which can't actually defend itself right now. Yeah, invasion over. Migration treaty proposals. I'm not going to me. Uh, still banging on about the moats. That's getting better, but that's okay. Energy is still a problem. You could assign more than one. You can? Oh. I didn't know you could do that. I thought you could only have one at a time. Oh yeah, there you go. But can we just put another one? There you go. <laughs> we have got everyone improving relations with the Jackie Consciousness now. There you go. Nice. Excellent. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, so once we've reinforced this station a little bit... In fact, my big fleet could actually come home. Uh, and I could leave the little fleet there just in case. Because if the if the wreck Thalerans kick off, then we're in terrible trouble. Um, but meanwhile, we know these guys are going to kick off at some point, so... We do have multiple entry points, but they haven't killed the ex Yeah, I wonder if they can't get... Oh no, look, they, they, they can walk straight in. They can walk straight in there. That's, that's an issue. Here at the Great Wheel, we love our thought-sniffing slug Jackly brothers and sisters. Yes, all hail the thought-sniffing slugs. Uh, okay, our energy problem has still not sorted itself out yet. Even though I'm sure I built, like, upgraded energy stuff everywhere. Okay, I've still got five stations I can get rid of. Uh, so what's the symbol for... So that's a star hold. Where is that? Okay, so I've got a star hold... I've got a star hold in the capital. Is that worth it? Because I don't know. Actually, yes, it probably is worth it because that means it's defending the capital. That's probably a good idea. Um, right, Halamar, what have you got? Okay, that's got a star hold. That doesn't need a star hold. That is not at any critical point. That can get downgraded. Okay. Uh, right. That's 28. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, is this one here? I got very excited about upgrading everything. Right, that's a starport. We can downgrade that one to an outpost. Sometimes we don't use your star bases to max usage. Uh, yeah, I, I, I. There's still stuff I miss. 
what what we did i i like once people pointed out like the automated um stuff for surveying and everything i kind of expanded very quickly um and then i suddenly had to run around trying to fix all the colony stuff next time around i'm going to expand and then actually like expand and work on the infrastructure before i start expanding again because it's just easier <laughs> yeah we didn't build the buildings but we're downgrading this anyway so we're not going to lose anything uh anyway so that's fine all right that brings us to 27 okay we're getting there dear god um this isn't linked to anything that's just an outpost that's fine Research complete. Uh, oh, research is complete. Oh, God. Debris analyzed. Nice. Minus 68. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, new research. Uh, uh, more tile blockers? That's a short one. Star base capacity plus two. <laughs> Which will take 203 months. Uh, maybe, maybe not the best idea I've had. Um, I'm paused, damn you. Oh yeah, no, that's a good point. Um, naval capacity I'm not using all of yet. Uh, yeah, go for the starbase cap. Yeah, good. Oh, 91 months remaining. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, maybe. Not a bad shout. Okay. Uh, where else? Uh, Spiker. That's also not a critical point. That's an outpost. Don't have to worry about that. Uh. Oh, I've got a list of star bases here. I'm a moron. Uh, right. Where's this? Cornaggy. Uh. That doesn't even have a start. That doesn't even have a a an it, it. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Um, where's this? Penosta. Right, Penosta's a linking thing. That's actually a, f uh, a an entry point. That actually should be a starport, and we should be building stuff on it. That makes sense. Maybe build some research buildings. Uh, there's trade there that isn't being scooped up. The space station was pay for itself. Okay, I'll have a look in a second. Uh, right. This could probably do with a bit of reinforcement, to be honest. So I might leave that one as it is. Right, ham on tear. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, blag, blag, blag. Where is it? I've lost it. Everything is hamster puns. I don't know where it was. I don't know where it was. I've lost it. <laughs> or do you mean ham and star? Is that what we mean? Oh, Hanam Tur. Okay, right. Yeah, got it. Uh, there's trade here. How can you tell there's trade? Oh! Trade value. Ah! Okay, so ironically, that would actually be worth upgrading and then building a trade thing. Right! Uh, wait, are we about to run out of... Have I just spent all my candy again? No, I haven't. That's good. Right, we're at 26 over 24. That's not so bad. Right, and then we have to build a trade hub, don't we? Okay. Right, so now we're going to be back up to 27. Ugh. Yeah, it's... Oh, yeah, there's 13 there. Oh, there's 13 here as well. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, 
Oh, okay, so this this would also make money here, I guess. Because th this has got, like, the, the thing. Right! Okay, got it, got it, got it. Right, we just put two we just put two star ports back. That's 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 not ideal. Um Right, this looks like there's probably another one here. Nope, that's an outpost. Uh shipyard, 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 star bases. Right, okay, where are you? Uh Quepoth. That's not actually you don't need a starport why don't why don't I need a starport i'm confused i thought we had to build the buildings there oh okay got it yeah, this whole this whole trade thing I, I failed to notice as well. Have we not have we not colonized? Is this somewhere else I have not colonized? Holy shit. Uh robots, Korok High. We have we're gonna have to go see where we've got humans from. Uh okay, we've got also we've got two different types of robot, which is a bit weird. Wait. Which which robot is ours? Wait, did I make a worse robot? I think I made a worse robot. My robot upkeep is plus ten percent. Why did I make that that? And now I've got a shit ton of robots. I need to convert the robots back into the ones that have less upkeep. I'm an idiot. Right, hang on a second. <sighs> Let's get that on the go. You were on Prime? I'm tempted to leave that the same. That's that's a <laughs> that's a perfect name for a planet. Okay. Uh, you were on. You were on Prime. Okay, right. Hold on. Hold the phone. So we've got their high high bandwidth, durable. Did I not rename the robots? Or are these my robots? These are my robots. Huh. I have like eight robot types in my empire. Yeah, I think I've... I've only got one, apparently. But the population... there was one that said that it had extra robot upkeep. Or was that just somewhere I just stole? Uh, I don't know. Right, where are we at with star bases? 25 out of 24. Okay, this is good. This is good. I have two robot types. Okay. Uh, right, the Cybrex place. Is Cybrex, is this right on the edge of somewhere? Mm, no. Do I need... That's not imminent threat. That can be downgraded. I didn't build anything here anyway. Right, that brings us to 24. Hey! Right, because yeah, if I've got a bunch of robots that are requiring a shit ton more upkeep than I'm actually dishing out, that could be a problem. Okay. Uh, I can't modify them though, so they, they must not be in... They must not be in my empire. Oh, hang on. Robot. Robotic. Mechanical. Wait, these have no traits at all. That's my one. That's the robot upkeep one. Can we modify that one? Oh. Trait picks left minus one. Uh. That's slightly puzzling. I can't remove the ship version of those because I guess they're not... Wait, can I actually do that? Oh no, I can't because they're at minus one. That's really weird. 
You can change their portrait. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, these are our robots. Those are somebody else's robots that I can't do anything about. Because weird shit is happening there. I've got no idea. Very confusing. Mighty puzzling. Uh, are they biffling on about the moats again? Yeah. Low stability. Yeah, this is fine. We're working on this. We're working on it. Dismantle. Uh, dismantle what? Yeah, it's... it's. It, I think it was on our planet. But yeah, yeah. Our, our, our robot is the up minus upkeep one. But I think on one of the planets I just nobbled, I've got extra upkeep robots, which is crap. Right, we're still at an energy deficit, which I have failed to fix yet. Oh, boy. Right. Uh, what is this? Unemployed pops. Okay, right. Let's go. Yeah, now it's only 26, which is which is something. Uh, is that upgraded? Uh, energy nexus. Yeah, I think that's the upgraded one. Okay. Uh, don't worry about it, math. <laughs> uh, this doesn't have a generator on it at all. Um, which is kind of funny. Um, hmm. Just raise the dead seedling. <laughs> uh, what could we ditch here? We could maybe replace that with a generator because we're struggling with that at the moment. Let's do that. All right. Uh, biggest Confucius. Uh, that doesn't have a generator either. But then that's got some blocked stuff that I can't shift. Okay. Uh, that's a planetary. Oops. Reassemble chip shelter. Oh, okay. Yep, no, that hasn't even been properly colonized yet. This is fine. Uh, bu -bu -bu. That's got a generator, but I can't upgrade it because it doesn't have a planetary administration. Right, okay. Uh, this has no room. <laughs> uh, this doesn't have a generator. Okay, I'm beginning to see the problem. I'm beginning to see the problem. Um... Uh, Hollow Theatre? Swap that out. I'm sure... Actually, wait a second. Okay, some planets have those, like, uber... Uh, generator things. Those precincts cost a lot and you have zero crime. Uh, where was I just now? Upkeep. Oh, yeah, their upkeep is, uh, quite a lot. You are correct. Uh, and there is zero crime. Moats and energy. Oh, even the basic one? Oh, the upgraded one is moats and energy. Uh, the basic one is energy. Yes, I think you're right. I think I've gone a bit crazy on building those. Let's demolish those. Uh, that's a planetary administration. That can be upgraded. Right, okay, okay. Let's go through. Right, precinct on the home world. Don't need one. Well, the, the, the crime problem we had... Um was yeah when we we're evading stuff but the other thing is i'm sure we had a bonus for having law enforcers or something or was it defense armies i think it was defense armies but yeah i got carried away and i built all of these apparently
Yeah, I doubt it's critical. Well, I hope it's not critical because I'm demolishing them all now. Oh my word! Uh, right, we don't actually we did we didn't actually build one there. Good lord. Uh, yeah, I, I was clearly quite uh, quite um, obsessed with building those for some reason. Uh, uh, oh yes, upgrade the generator. That's good. Uh, demolish that. That's good. Uh, uh. We have a 1% crime. <laughs> Probably because I haven't actually looked at this colony since we started, since we made it, to be honest. Uh, and we have zero crime here too. Right, how are we looking? How's that looking? Come on, time. It still says minus 26, but I think it's lying. Really? Debris it's gone up and now it says minus 28. <laughs> what the hell? I'm confused. Oh, it's okay. I gotta get to the end of the month. Gotcha. Construction complete. Okay, uh, plasma thrusters. Oh, hello. Faction founded. A new faction has been gaining traction. Uh, the Hamsterian Unity Block. Oh, God. Their members seek to assert the primacy of the Hamsterian species by curtailing the rights of aliens as necessary. Great, it's another bunch of bloody idiots. Right, hang on, I need to deal with these assholes. Right, Hamster, Hamsterian Utility Block. We need to suppress that. Thank you. Fuck you, guys. There you go. Up your ass. Upgrade that capital building because it's just positive and everything to do so. Uh, where was that? <laughs> Which capital building and where was it? Uh, oh, okay, that's a, that's a planetary, planetary capital. There is. Well, that's more energy upkeep. Mind you, we just ditched a bunch of it. It's a planet with an up arrow. Okay. So that's planetary capital. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, no, that's, uh... Da, 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 da. Oh, okay, yeah, that's, uh, planetary administration. Uh... I think that's all of them. I think. I've still got an energy deficit. I don't know what's happening. Uh, that's fine. I have a science ship there. He is working on it. Colonization in progress. Okay, cool. We're colonizing somewhere. Rising unemployment on this is an Finian. Oh, great. Yeah, I wonder if that UI mod is something you can introduce mid-run, because I hate having to scroll up and down this nonsense. Whereas that UI mod makes this much bigger. If you put the the scale back to one, it's 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 gonna be it, it's making my brain hurt. Right, what's the fucking issue here then? One unemployed and a specialist. Hmm. What's this? Uh, consumer goods. I don't know. Uh. <laughs> Build the yellow districts. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Cosmetic mods can be applied mid-run. Yeah, I wouldn't have necessarily thought that a, a uh, UI mod is a... Is a cosmetic one but i guess it is i suppose in the grand scheme of things but yeah i'm really i really want to uh, put that mod on because it's uh it's probably going to help clean blockers on planets that's a good that's another one yeah right we can do adopt another tradition that still says minus 42 i don't know what's going on right what have we got 
we have uh, cybernetics, which we can't because we haven't got the flesh is weak. Um, we haven't adopted cybernetic traditions, so that's not going to happen. Um, prioritizing jobs. Ah, okay. Uh, more quality than life. Okay. Well, we can't because we can't. Oh, okay, so we adopt that, and then we have to launch The Flesh is Weak. And then we can have Cyber Hamsters. Okay. Why not? Why not? Council agenda available. Oh, The Flesh is Weak. Oh, there we go. We now possess both the technology to make advanced cybernetic implants and the means of mass produce them. Uh, oh god. In the future, possessing neural implants. <laughs> oh god. We must embrace this technology. Issue special project. The flesh is weak. Hey, here we go. The flesh is weak. Weaky, weaky flesh, flesh. Uh, that's a lot of engineering research. Holy shit. Uh, go for it. Why not? Cyber hamsters. <laughs> Why not? Construction complete. Why not? Right. Uh, we've gone through two months. And this is still at minus 42. I'm baffled. Uh, like, straight up baffled. I've upgraded the generators. Right, we've got this. This is a generator world? Oh, there's another one of these fucking things. Hang on. That's a generator world. That's generated district speed, that's technician output, that's not really going to help much. Uh... Yeah, we well, can only have- I think you only have one per planet. Is it one per planet? You can have multiple ones. Or generator districts. The brain is turning to sludge, you are correct. Population on the planet tab. Click on the technician job. Uh, apparently I have no technicians here. Oh, technicians. Uh, yeah. Oh. And... Ah, increasing its priority when active. Got it. Right, so what we're saying is I haven't ha I haven't got enough technicians to run my shit, is what we're saying. Right. Uh well there's lots of technicians there, but I mean this that's good. Right, I don't think we've got any more of those to upgrade. Yeah, I probably haven't built generator districts. That's probably my other thing I haven't done. Well, some generator districts. Okay. No, that's that's that could do with another one, probably. Oh. Uh. No, apparently I can't do that. Oh, we're out of room. That's why. Ah, because there's blockers. Which I can't shift. So, that's good to know. Uh... It's got three... Can I move any of these? Nope. Uh, there's probably some places that do not have... That like, for example, here, they have no generated districts at all. <laughs> or, or much of anything. Yeah, no generator districts. When the energy crisis is done, might get some more research buildings going. Yeah, that's probably something else I haven't got. This is what happens when you you ex you expand a lot and you don't realize what you do. You actually don't fully understand what you're doing. <laughs> so this doesn't even have an energy grid in it. Uh, 
Ah, uh, right, okay. Does that look any healthier? Minus 15. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, engineering research. Okay, what do we got? Uh, battleships. Ho ho ho. Uh, 149 months, but probably worth it? I need a drink, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it is a bit of a it is a bit of a a, a puzzle box. You are hundred percent correct. I I think we could do some battleships, couldn't we? <laughs> I like this idea. What else we got? Uh, mega engineering, Ooh, recess. Uh, that's four hundred and sixty-six months. Yeah, battleships. Okay, council agenda uh, available. Well, that's that's fine. Oh, cybernetic advantage. Uh oh, wow, okay. I guess we'll do that for the next one. Uh we probably need to look at our edicts at some point. Uh, except my brain is rapidly melting. Right, okay. Imminent situations. The moat situation is fixing itself. That is not a problem. This planet is not very stable, but that's fine. Uh that's a generator that can be upgraded. Let's do that. Cooking up names to your battleships already. Excellent. Timed project. That's fine. I'm hoovering these all up as fast as I can. Uh, debris. Yep, yeah, that's good. Repairs completed. That's great. Star base construction complete. Right. Uh, was this the one? Uh, uh, this the one we were going to do the trade hub? No, it says it's already, it says collected by trade hub. But I haven't actually built a trade hub yet. Uh, I'm confused. Oh, we're back to exceeding capacity again. That's annoying. Wait, or is that already being collected? Trade hub is for the one next system over. I thought it was. I thought it was here because this was the one that had thirteen. Well, now it's got twelve. Or is it because this one was doing it? Collected by trade hub. I'm confused. Yeah, but there isn't... I didn't build a trade hub here. There is no trade hub here. Or is that not how that works? I don't understand. Oh, they collect trade value in the system even with no hub. Oh, I did not know that. So what's the point of a trade hub if they do it automatically then? Oh, collection range plus one? Oh, okay, okay, I get it. Right, so if I got any, if I got like any... Right, so here's the thing. I've got... Okay, so there's, there's three value there. Which isn't being collected because presumably I don't have a don't have a uh, a uh, star base there, and there's one, there's some here as well. So is that why? Oh, that's getting sixty two from there. Holy fuck! Was that the was that one of the places we stole? Right. Why is that not being collected? Build a trade hub within collection radius and connect it to a trade route to utilize this trade value. Right. So how how come? Oh, so that needs to be. So that needs to be a starport in order to take take that is what we're saying. 
Right. So that'd be worth doing, even though it's going to put a cap up. Right. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, trade routes. Yeah, I heard trade routes being mentioned. I never really looked into it in the end. Uh... Okay, what is this telling me? <laughs> uh, trade protection value. Trade collection. That that's telling me nothing. That's il, the habla no español. Oh, it's on the left. Oh, okay. I think. I don't know. Center of the Empire, you can see some roots. Oh, the blue things. Okay. Got it. Oh my god. Right, so, because we haven't got a star base here, we're losing out, basically. Yeah, fucking hell. Okay, so that's worth it. Right, so I need to find probably another star base to decommission that I don't need. And then we kind of should be okay-ish. Uh, not sure you can connect it. Well, I've got a wormhole. I figured once I've built, uh, upgraded this, uh, wait, hang on. Was that, was that where it was? No, that's not it. Uh, I've got no idea. I don't know. <laughs> uh, rising unemployment on Wentworth Hamsterville. Okay, yeah, increase the benefits. Let's go have a look. What has gone wrong? I mean, everything has gone wrong, probably. Where is... Where is the planet? I've, I've utterly lost it. I've lost the fucking... There it is. Right, to unemployment. Uh, right, what's a thing? What the hell's this? Facility of Archaeo Studies. Uh, sure. Um, right, what have I got? Got, uh, got research. Got energy! I don't have a generator here. Because, uh, apparently, reasons. There you go. My empire management, yeah. Pot through with four trade hubs will cover it all. Not sure if you're already using the station for things, though. Probably not. Hey, we're at plus four! Yay! The crisis has largely been averted ish. Debris analyzed. Now what? Uh, resolution has been passed. What was it? Five year plans. Was that the thing we did want or thing we didn't want? I legit can't remember. Uh, recycling initiatives, nobody wants it. We don't want it. Uh, more physics research. That's good. That's good. Oh, chameleon field exposed. What the fuck? A chameleon energy field of some sort concealing an ancient structure was recently exposed on the surface of Galurium 6A. Okay, a lifeless moon. Okay. Do we have stuff here? What what that do? What the dark doing? Oh, hello. Uh do I have a spare science special? Special? Special. I already have a ton of spare science vessels. Everyone's still on the five year plans, yeah. Uh civilian ships uh science. Where would the nearest science ship be? Uh, I've gone science ship blind. Is there like none of them here? There's none of them here. Where are they all? They're all hiding somewhere. Oh, he's fucking miles away. Mind you, we have like magical 
doohickeys now, don't we? Go, go, go and excavate that. I, there might be a closer one, I just don't know where it is. We've got, like, gates and wormholes and shit. It's fine. Right, okay. Uh, oh, he's on his way. That's fine. That's good. We probably need to upgrade all our ships again, I imagine. Let's face it. Yeah, look, everything needs upgraded again. Jesus Christ. Okay! Alright, it's gone 8 o'clock. It's time to admit defeat for the day. Oh, my word. Right. Let's put a save in. Actually, yeah, let's pause it first. What's going on? Ah, that's what we're going to call it. Nailed it. All right, make sure that's saved. Excellent. Right, let's quit to the desktop. Okay, right, so we're going to wrap things up there. Uh, no problem, Chaplain Backers. Uh, lurkers are also appreciated in return. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you, Epsilon Actual and Red Mangler, for the follows. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very kind. Uh, also, a big thank you to Mark of the Dragon for lobbing me a code for Rogue Trader. You are a fucking diamond. I may well see if I can punt something your way as a token gesture. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Matt. For the uh, Aquatics DLC, I shall get on sorting that out. Um, and I can't remember if there was anything else, but there we go. Uh, oh, Space Crew. Oh, yeah. I think I wrote that down. Did I write that down? I don't think I wrote that down. Uh, I wrote that down. Yes, because that is free. I'm going to have to free up some space on my hard drive, man. Seriously. It's, it's, because it, it, I'm like doing a lot of video editing as well, so I need to be careful. Right, all, all of my assorted links you can find there. Uh, I'm going to take a couple of days off because uh, my brain is melting. Um, uh, but uh, to be honest, I've been really enjoying Helldivers, so I don't know. There might be an impromptu Helldivers moment in the next couple of days. I'll see what my brain is doing. We'll figure it out. We'll see what happens. If all else fails, I will be back on Saturday with some Battletech Advanced, uh, with all the uh, upgraded uh, bits and bobs on that. Um, so yes, thank you all very much. It is much appreciated. Let's go see uh, what's going on Twitch. Uh, yeah, we haven't... I don't think we've raided Toaster in a little while. Let me, let me have a look, see who's about. Uh, let's see what's going on. We raided HB yesterday... I think if there's anyone else. Yeah, let's go raid Robo Battle Toaster. Why not? Here's a top chap. He was part of all our insanity uh, yesterday as well in Helldivers. So let me grab his uh, channel link there. There we go. So please be kind when you raid, and I should catch you guys next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.